I gotta grab something out of the trunk and I'm gonna run in the house and put slow chat on. So let's go in the house and put slow chat on real quick. Since I'm gonna be I'm going to be putting the slow chat on for about 28 seconds. Oh, I forgot to set the alarm. Uh, Apple Watch won't unlock it. All right, now we're going to put the slow chat on for you guys, and then we're going to have us a long drive. Please note that when I do take phone calls, I'm going to mute the microphone. Oh, I got to sign in again. This is gonna take a minute. Let's see if it remembers it. There, let's see, it took it, good. All right, here we go. We're setting slow chat up for y'all. 28 seconds. There you go. Now we're getting out of here. Now we're getting out of here. Now we are getting out of here. Gotta go get some gas, get a drink. And then we are out of here. Let's set y'all in here and we're gonna go off for a long drive. I'll be with y'all for probably at least six or seven hours, if not longer. So let's open the trunk. I gotta get something. Now we're going. Do we have anyone here? Check this out. We got, look what we got on the dashboard. We got some cool provisions here. Look at this. That's right, preheat. Look at that blinkiness. That's right, we got a preheat fluorescent running off an inverter. So here we go. Let me get the epidemic sound going. Yes, we're taking the Toyota to St. Louis right now. Hopefully it makes it. We gotta gas it up, we'll do it in Vinton. I guess we're going a little bit out of the way to get get. Turning left on 9th Street, here we go. Play right now. Going out of the way, this thing's gonna talk for probably the next 10 minutes. Get gas and a drink. Oh, if I can't get more than this, I'm not gonna lie.
please text me your address. All right, we should be back. We're out. But yeah. I should be there shortly after nine. Oh, I should go there, 307. All right, it's gonna take me out, Gus Nix. I need it for navigation, please. If we're only gonna get four people on here, I'm not gonna stream the drive. So I'll give it about 20 minutes. If we don't get at least 20 or 30 on here, we're not going to stream it. Yeah, I was making sure it's working. Like I said, I'll give you all a chance to get on here, but... I'm not going to live stream if no one's going to come on. I'm doing good. Driving to St. Louis. Trying to find cheap gas right now. I'm going out of the way so the GPS is going to talk non-stop till we get to Exxon. Gonna get gas right now. Yeah, it's the same price as Walmart. We'll go to Kroger. We'll probably have to wait in line. We're going to St. Louis. line for the gas pumps. We'll have to wait for someone to pull out. Block this road until someone pulls out. What are all these? There's several of these people not even in their cars.
What are these idiots doing? Jesus Christ. I'll block this entire road until I get a pump. This lady looks like she's finishing up here soon. <clears throat> That's a small car, a Corolla won't take long to fill up. I wonder if the pumps are running slow. I shouldn't have to wait to get gas. This is killing time. There we go, she's full. At least she has a good selection of cars, a Toyota Corolla, a fantastic car. Ooh, beautiful Ford Mustang just drove by. There she goes. Now we can fill up at 309 a gallon. I'll leave y'all here in the car. Let me reset my miles. I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna fill up. We got a 10 cent discount off phone number 8675309. We used 8675309 to get a 10 cent discount. All right, we can watch the miles go up. My gas gauge doesn't work, but this does. Once it adapts to highway driving, we should get about 400 miles on this tank. I just didn't want to have to stop for gas, so we're filling up. It's tuned for city driving right now. It's about to be full. Plug the phone in. Get it clicked off.
right, we are on our way with a full tank now. Let's see here, how do I... We got the average miles a gallon. Here we go, we're going now. We're going to get my drink, then we're getting out of town. We had some cereal for breakfast. Gonna take a little shortcut, I know. Oh, let me put all chat. There we go. I'm gonna try to make it in front of these cars. Here we go. Let's see how efficient this car is. I'm curious. It hadn't been on the highway in a long time. This will be good for her to stretch her legs. I'll be a lot less stressed once I get out of Roanoke because Roanoke is probably the most miserable place I'll be driving in today. Side of town. Oh, they just did. Means I'm going to as well. I just pulled right out in front of somebody. Raspy dog. Oh, we got a new member. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, doggy Rob doggy plays Roblox. Welcome. I don't like this version of the song. Alright, here we go in Exxon. I will be back in just a few minutes. I have to pee and get a fountain drink. I can tell I got a bunch of elevator stuff in the back here. I will be right back, guys.
All right, we're all gassed up now. We got a fountain drink, so we're ready to hit the road. And thank you for becoming a member. We're gonna, let's get Google Maps on. And we're gonna make a big gulp here before we leave. So we're going to be on the road for a long time. And hopefully this will help my YouTube watch time. And there went all the ice into the big gulp. I didn't want that to happen. There's no way to pour a cup yet. Yeah, spilled out all the ice. Let me see if I can, yeah. Makes me mad about the ice, but oh well. Here we go. We're on our way. I'm going some other places, but that's a secret. I can't tell anyone else where I'm going until we get there. But here we go. Zach's doing good and he's gonna miss me. Oh no, my vape juice. Oh, thank you for the money for the gas. Let's see here, I'm gonna fill my vape before I'm driving. Try to get every last drop out of this thing I can. All right, it's officially empty, time for a new one. We are going to get moving here right now. The most stressful part of this drive is right in front of us in this crappy little town of Roanoke. I absolutely hate driving in this town. We are now on the way. Came out of nowhere. I guess I'm going the way Google, yep, I'm going the way Google wants me to go. This is the most stressful part of our drive right here. Roanoke is worse than St. Louis for traffic, probably. Best soda fountain ever, guys. Exxon and Vinton will get some music cranked up. Here we go. Google Maps never lies. Yeah, once I get out of this town, I'll be good. It's just Roanoke's traffic terrible. Oh yeah, as far as a metro area, yeah, but I'm just saying, at least Atlanta has limited access highways. All your travel in Roanoke is on surface streets. Right now, it's fine. But when we get on Orange Avenue, it's going to be a cluster. I wonder how many miles we're going to put on the Toyota today. It's 141, 11461. No, 114162 is our starting mileage. See, watch, we're probably not going to catch this light. Oh, we made it. Oh, it's going to turn, but I'm going to run it. And Roanoke red lights are just a suggestion. I love you, dear. I'm on the way. She's texting Zach. We'll probably be there by 10 o'clock. Bill Mountain's 
too is kind of, there's some nice views from it though. Now Mill Mountain is amazing. I'll turn the air, okay, let's, I can't run this light. It's 80 degrees, I've already got my exercise in for the day. I exercised about one o'clock this morning. And I had a problem with my Apple Watch that I'd never had before. It disconnected during a war in the middle of my workout and canceled it. I was mad. The phone was on power saving mode. I wonder if that had anything to do with it. Garmin watch is good. Mm -hmm. I'm stopping this red light. I'm going to make sure all the lights are off the house. Yep, they are. I got some of the worst gas I'd ever gotten from there. If you look on Google Maps, look on Gazebo Burger at Plano, Texas. You'll find my review. Of course, sadly, since I've gotten healthy, I think a lot of the bloopers are going to be over with Jason. I don't make noise in the bathroom anymore. I don't ride mark carts anymore. So, sadly, a lot of the funny things that went on are probably due to my poor health. Now I've, I've gotten in better health, a lot of my problems have gone away. Not really. I mean, it's not fun to cramp. But one thing, I was still like at Luxor, I was still, uh, I'll be silly. Yeah, like I'll scream stuff like I got to die of Pepsi and stuff. I was still having problems back when I was in Las Vegas. Of course, I'm going to see Jacob. Can't go to St. Louis. I'll see Jacob. All right, we should be getting on the interstate now. Yeah, we're going through this. Gotta see how fast this old Toyota can go. Yeah, I don't think I have hemorrhoids anymore. Like I said, I mean, getting in shape has helped me in so many ways. have to drive the stupid toll road in West Virginia. I hope I have money on my easy pass. All right, please note guys, I'm driving. I am not going to see every chat message. I am not going to reply to every message. Please don't get mad and please don't expect me to. We're 
we're on our way. I have an easy pass. You can see it on the dashboard on the lower corner of your screen. This car is so much more comfortable than the Hyundai. Yeah, they call them, there's other, um, there's other tags here in America too, besides just Easy Pass. Oh, my brakes are so much better. Car still shakes a little bit. It was pain. I was in pain. It hurt to go to the bathroom every time. riding my motorcycle but it's so unhealthy there's no health benefits to riding a motorcycle believe me if st louis was closer i'd run there i would run on my feet i run well over 100 miles a month Chicago traffic, the worst, okay. Worst cities for traffic in America. Chicago, Washington, D.C., Atlanta. New York and L.A. can be bad, but if you go through there at the right time, you can squeak through. Oh, you are a sweetheart, Kathy. But yeah, if you squeak, if you squeak through, I mean, Chicago, Washington, D.C., and Atlanta, based on my driving experiences are probably the worst for traffic. I hope Avi makes it to St. Louis okay. That's her name, Avi. Avi the Avalon. I just think I named my car today. Avi the Avalon. Yeah, I love this car. This is my favorite. I'm, the only thing I'm worried about, I hope I don't get in a wreck. Because every time I get, like, I was just in a bad accident. Um, and uh, on the same interstate I'm going to be on. I, like I said, that's the only thing I don't like about driving this car. Every time I drive it, I risk getting in an accident. And I don't want anything bad to happen to Avi. Okay, I think we've named her. If y'all like that name, I'll keep it. Avi the Avalon. Unless Jason wants something else. I let Jason name my cars. Like my other car's name is Haley, the Hyundai. All right, we're gonna stretch our legs as soon as we can, I mean, Interstate 81 is awful. Yes, I'm awake. Well, let's get in the left lane and move. 
car does shimmy a little bit at high speeds. I don't know why it keeps dropping. Hopefully it'll get better once we get out of Roanoke. Fuel range just went up. It might be able to get up to 400 miles out of this tank. I don't know. I love you guys. I appreciate y'all coming on here to keep me company. I appreciate y'all looking out. Yeah. I don't want to deal with delays. Every time I drive to St. Louis, I always get stuck somewhere. car drives so much better with the new tires. I'm going to need an oil change. I'm going, I'll tell you, I, I, I have a question. Can anyone tell me how you get warped rotors on a car? Because I don't want to get them on this car again. What do you do to avoid getting warped rotors, if anything? What can you do to avoid getting warped rotors? How do you get warped rotors on a car and what can I do to, do to avoid it? I wonder if the chat's not working because nothing's popping up on here. I'm talking about my end, but I just want to know how to avoid getting warped rotors. Oh, it's working. Hey, Chase. How do you avoid getting warped rotors on a car? Is it my, am I using the brakes too hard? How do you stop from getting warped rotors, guys? I guess no car experts are here. <laughs> Y'all are going to be with me for a while. We're going to be going across several states. So basically, using the brakes really hard can warp the rotors. 
I've been trying to be gentle on my brakes because I had a feeling that's probably what would warp them. This car has all new brakes. Oh, good one. Love it when people pass you thinking they're gonna get to go faster. I need to format the memory card in the dash cam. It's not working right. We're going to be going across uh, probably Kentucky, Indiana. the accelerator will just give you really bad gas mileage and obviously put some wear on your engine although it's good to run the car hard every now and then it burns carbon out of it but you don't want to floor the gas pedal like at every stoplight maybe like once a week twice a week I drive this car very gently just being on the highway and is good for the car Highway miles are actually good for a car. Fortunately, we won't be on Interstate 81 too long. We're going to be on US 460, then Interstate 64. I can't wait to get a new subwoofer in here. the sunroof. There we go. I don't think I'm going to be eating in this car. I, like I said, I got this car nice and clean. I need to make a phone call real quick. I'll be right back.
or they didn't answer. I'm actually trying to get an appointment with a mechanic in St. Louis to, to look at this car. This low nicotine stuff is getting to me, guys. Oh good, he's calling back. Let me take this call. to be 650. 650? That'll be fine. Um, also, um, while, when the car's in there, can you just look over the car and make sure everything's good with it? Because I haven't, like, the belts and stuff. I just want to make sure those are good and stuff. Yeah, that's fine. What's the mileage on it right now? The mileage on it, uh, by the time I get there... Sorry about that. I was getting a car appointment. I got a car appointment, period. I'll drop it off tomorrow and he'll get to it when he can. All right, guys, we're back. So yeah, I'm kind of glad I'm bringing the Toyota out here. That's no problem. Wow. 
we can drop it off when he opens. or whenever we wake up, period. I'm usually up by about nine o'clock to 9.30. Sorry, I was sending him texts. All right, I'm happy. I have an appointment for this car. Voice to text. I can't wait to get a new subwoofer in here. Jacob, when the car is ready, would you be willing to pick it up? Question mark. I will pay for an Uber for you and give you a credit card to pay him. We go we're getting off i need to put my phone on do not disturb because i can't deal with texts coming through there we go i don't want to be distracted while i'm driving i want to set my phone up to where it tells people i'm driving when they text me and i'll get back with them when i stop driven this car this car had 101,000 miles when Jacob sold it the guy said so I've only driven this car a little over 10,000 miles in two years Awesome, period. If you have to Uber, let me know how much it is and I will pay for it. Keep left. 
by the way, your mechanic misses you, period. He says he hasn't seen you in a long time. I told him you haven't had any issues with your car. Alright, we're going to be on this for a while. Oh great, the Bluetooth just dropped. That's weird. Oh, it's back. Sorry I'm not reading the chat. Alright, I'm gonna put this thing to where no text can get through. There we go. That's just distracting me. Still got 650 miles left. Wow. My car will be in the shop all week next week. My car will be in the shop all week next week, so. I'm, like I said, that's the whole reason uh, I cannot find a good mechanic in Roanoke, so I might be taking this car out to St. Louis once a year. For its uh, major stuff. Because Hansa is that good. I will drive halfway across the country to let him look under the hood. There's an old Alan Jackson song with a line that says... Folks drove their cars for mile from miles around to let them look underneath the hood. That's how good this mechanic is in St. Louis. That's the whole reason I'm taking this car this trip is to have um, the, the mechanic work on it. You know it's a good mechanic if you're willing to drive. Take your car to him.
We may drop a couple times across here on 460. Well, thank you so much for being a member. Like I said, I mean, all I can really give is early access to videos. I'll publish a video later tonight. My YouTube is not scheduled out at all, so basically the members' videos are going to get trickled out to the public. I'll probably be live streaming a good part of the way. Later on this evening, I may take some phone calls from some of my important people in my life. I'm just running a little bit late. I'm kind of in a rush to get there. I'm not gonna stop at all. Except just to pee and get food. And I try to only stop once for food too. We got 10 hours and 15 minutes left till we get there. Oh, sunburn sucks. I'm sorry, man. How's that iPad treating you? I hope that iPad's treating you pretty good. I'm on vacation for the next week, so I'm taking a trip. Gas mileage has gone up. Wow, we're getting almost, let's see your display. It's gone up a little bit, 26 miles a gallon. Hope we can get over 30 miles a gallon out of this trip, but I'm going pretty fast. I'm going 75 miles an hour right now. I shouldn't go fast on this road because sheriffs like to watch it. It's just fun to be, I can finally take this car on road trips. Like I said, once I get the struts replaced on this, this car will be in good shape. Ugh. 
I'm very easy on the brakes because I don't want the rotors to get damaged. Really, that truck was like stopped in the middle of the road down there. That's annoying. Once I get out of the mountains, I'll get better fuel economy. I got a bunch of elevator crap in the trunk. Oh, this will be hard to run. This, look, this is like a mile long grade. I should come run down here sometime. This would really get my heart rate up. Running a grade like this would really work my heart. We also have a vintage Casio clock with us today. This is just like one I had as a kid. I'm actually starting to collect clocks again. A clock. I think his YouTube name was like Clock or something. But yeah, there's a clock collector that used to watch this channel. I haven't seen him in a long time. I think it was like Clock TV or something. He's got some cool stuff. I think his name is Cam or something. Well, I like this song. Be, it might be because he has some I think his name is Cam or Cameron or something I don't know what his name is but he's got some really cool stuff I love his cuckoo clocks he's got some cool awesome stuff So yeah, check out his channel. Oh, good one. Oh, he had plenty of room. Oh, good. The time just went down. We're almost under 10 hours. Any drive 12 hours and under is short to me because that's how long a typical shift at work lasts. But yeah, I don't know if I, I think I talked about this on a previous live stream, but the other day I hit a car. It was actually in this area. It was actually, we're actually really close to the grade crossing where I hit the car. 
I just thank God it was unoccupied. I just thank God the car was unoccupied. I'm going to end my navigation and shut this phone down just for a little bit to let it cool off. Oh crap, I just killed the uh, music. I'll get it back up though. I'm just killing all my apps right now because it's overheating a little bit. It's the only thing I don't like about the iPhone mini. It doesn't dissipate heat well because it's so small. It'll get to where it won't charge. I, mean, I know where I'm going, 77 north to 64. Once we get on the other side of Princeton, I'll pick up the navigation again. the air conditioning on the phones. I'm not going to be able to pass this wide load. Yeah, it's, the service here is hit or miss. We're out in the middle of nowhere, so the service will come and go. Just bear with me. It'll get better. And here's our first speed trap we're going through. Pembroke. There's a gas station along here that has some of the best hot dogs ever. I forgot exactly where it is. There, now my phone is charging again. I'll put Google Maps back up once it fully charges. We are setting the cruise at 45 miles an hour. Because this is a speed trap. I remember where that gas station is that had the really good hot dogs. I think it's toward Narrow, or no, it's toward Parisburg, I think.
I think we're out of the 45, but I'm not sure. My phone is charging again now. Yeah, the service is only one bar through here. So if we cut out, like I said, once we get out of these rural areas, back on the interstate, we'll have better service. That's not the place for the hot dogs. No. I wish I knew where that place with the really good hot dogs was. I'm not really hungry yet. I had some cereal earlier. We're going to St. Louis. I'll probably eat dinner with Jason at Steak and Shake or something. Or maybe Courtesy Diner if it's open. Up 65 now. We're out of the speed trap now. This is a very sharp curve to take at 65. And it's going to drop right here. It always, there's no cell coverage down here by the river. Oh, it didn't drop. So we're going over the railroad right now. We're going over the railroad right now. Oh, there's a cop. There's a state trooper right there. Definitely not going to speed up. I think he's trying to catch people coming down the hill. This is actually limited access here. Yeah, Parisburg. I think that's where that gas station with the really good hot dogs is. I'm just not hungry yet. I'll probably eat around like two or three. Pull up GPS to see how accurate the speedometer on this car is. It says we're going 74. Oh, it's actually right on. The speedometer's reading one the speedometer's reading 73, GPS says 74. So this is pretty accurate. Accurate. We're not stopping in any elevators. We're just getting, we're going straight to St. Louis. I'm okay. I'm looking for that place with the really good hot dogs. I think it's in this area. We're, 
maybe not. I don't know where it is. I thought it was right here off 460. Across the new river again. Look how pretty our mountains are. They're beautiful. I love the mountains. There's Selco. We serve that. We're near Narrows because that's where the uh, Virginian, that's where the NW, um, that's where the NW railway crosses over to the Virginian. A Honda Fit got pulled over for speeding. Wow. We're definitely not speeding right now. We're going under the speed. Where is that darn gas station? I remember it was like a white brick building. That's not it right there. That is not it. I want to know where the really good hot dogs are. Is it up here? It's, it wasn't a brand name gas station. That's an Exxon up there. Oh boy, here we come into Narrows. Well, I just don't know where it is. Maybe it's off the beaten path. This right here, my friends, is another speed trap. Nope, that is not it. There's the Burger King we always stop at when we taxi to Bluefield. It's not the Sunoco. I, I thought it was closer to Parisburg or Pembroke. I'll never know where that place is. All right, we're out of the speed trap of Narrows. This is kind of cool how, how they made this one lane through here. Now, the uh, eastbound lanes are actually the old Virginian Railroad rail, rail bed. Just a fun fact, those eastbound lanes over there used to be the Virginian Railway. And these westbound lanes were the original road that 460 followed when it was two lane. That's just a fun fact.
I remember driving through in a tractor trailer back when this used to be two lanes. It was tight. Look how close those rocks get to the road. You can see where stuff has hit it. See you, Ryan. Thanks for coming on. I might stop at Chick-fil-A in Princeton and get some food. Since we're going up there, I might stop at Chick-fil-A in Princeton. No, I need to, I'll, I don't know, I need to pee and get a drink. So we're going to stop somewhere just to do that. There you go. Wonderful turn signal right at the last minute. This right here was really sketchy going through here where this was two lanes. I am glad they brought this down to one lane. And now we're out of it. We're back to four lane highway. This is Rich Creek, y'all. Is that it? No, it's not. It was a... I need to quit worrying about that gas station. I'm never going to see it. We're almost in West Virginia. Here we are in Glenlyn. This power plant over here is getting torn down. The last speed trap through here.
there's the smokestack. There's an elevator on that smokestack, but it doesn't work. Crossing into West Virginia, y'all. We are no longer in Virginia once we get around this curve. Welcome to West Virginia, wild and wonderful, full of high gas prices. much uphill from here to Bluefield. Charleston is cool. Williamson, uh, they don't run up there anymore. Not, I'm gonna go another, probably about two hours before I get food. Uh, they just uh, cut the Williamson runs off. I miss them, they paid really good. stop and pee once we get to Princeton. I don't go to Bristol anymore because I have a regular route to Bluefield. I don't like going to Bristol. Although we got a new hotel down there. We're in the courtyard by Marriott now. I might go down there sometime just for like a week just because I'm curious to see the new hotel. Have a good day. We only got nine and a half hours left to get there now. 600 miles. I am glad I'm in this Toyota. It is so comfortable.
It's so pretty through here. Rolling hills. I'll get better fuel economy once I get out of these mountains. I'm sorry. That's sad. I mean, people come and go, though. It's very hard to trust people. But that bridge did have a nice sound. All right, he's moving on. I drive fast, but that guy's really moving. Someone's having a yard sale out of a minivan. I was riding the Greyhound bus from Mayfield. Probably just gonna stop at the rest area up here and go to the bathroom. Maybe get a drink out of the vending machine because I'm trying to make time. Oh, the heated seats feel so good on my back. We're almost at the interstate. There used to be a CC's Pizza up by this Walmart. Ooh, Dolly's Diner sounds so good, but I'm trying to watch what I eat because I went to CC's last night. All right, we're gonna stop at this rest area up here in Welcome Center. I don't think I've ever been here.
It's on the left, so it's going to delay me a little bit. I could get a sheep. No, that'll delay me even more. It's on the left. I don't know. I'll just go down here to sheets. Actually, I'll go, we'll go to Chick-fil-A. It's only 500 calories. Let me see what I've eaten today, calorie-wise. We're gonna stop at Chick-fil-A. Yeah, we'll go to Chick-fil-A and eat real quick. Y'all know this, the hotel is over there on the right. You can see in the extreme right hand of your screen, that's the sleep in. We're gonna go into Chick-fil-A. Right I'm ending maps, there we go. This is a little bit of a cluster getting through Princeton. It's not as bad as Roanoke, but. I'm used to walking and running up here. I've never. This will be the first time I've driven up here in a long time. The vape store down here has the disposable vapes that I like. Why is this lane not moving? There's Dolly Steiner. There's the Arby's we always go to. Sure y'all recognize some of these landmarks. And we're gonna go and eat because I am hungry. But I am gonna cut the stream while I go in the bathroom. Uh-oh, you know what I don't have? Oh, I do have the phone stand. I have the CJ Anderson one. I'll have to fish shit out of the back seat. Come on in, I'm letting you over. There's Chick-fil-A. How many times have y'all seen me walk or run to Chick-fil-A? Oh my gosh, it is so busy in there. I hope they even have room in there. Is today a holiday weekend or something? Because there's just a lot of people on the roads. I'm glad I have my handicap permit. If I can't find parking, I'll park in handicap. Oh man, I wish I could have worked Mother's Day because uh, Mother's Day is a double payday. This really needs to be a traffic light here, not a four-way stop or three-way stop. There's that whistle sound. I don't know what on earth it is. I wish I had a mom. There goes my easy pass. All right, let's see if we can find parking here. If not, I'll circle and take that handicap spot. Actually, there's a parking spot right here. I can parallel park.
All right, we're here. Let me get the phone stand. It should be in the back seat. If it's not, we won't have a phone stand this trip. And it is. All right, let me get my stuff. And here we are. I'm also gonna remind me to format that dash cam memory card when we get back out. Right, you just got to bear with me as I get my stuff together to go in the restaurant. We are going to cut the stream here for a minute because I don't want to stream the stream. So, yeah, we're going to cut for a minute. Thank you. Gotcha. Yeah, we're going to cut it. We don't want to stream the stream. I'll be right Guys, we're back. I'm going to set up the stand and we're going to place an order. I absolutely hate this phone stand. But now we're going to go ahead and place an order. guys i hope y'all are still with me so we are going to go ahead and order our food let me make sure the stream is back yeah it's playing i just the chat's not working all right let us i'm, I'm just going to get let's see uh it's telling me all my items are left behind because they're in the car I'm just gonna get the cup of soup. Let's see your pickup at restaurant. So yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna get the cup of soup. Princeton, start my order. Here we go. I'm gonna do dine-in. You can see it shows dine-in. So let's see here. Add to order. I'm just going to get the cup of soup today. Let's see your show details. We're only going to eat about uh, maybe, let's see how many calories we're going to eat. Let's see here, 120 calories. We're only going to eat 465 calories right now, guys. So, let's see here. There you go. This is what we're getting right here. Grilled chicken nuggets, cup of noodle soup. And a large diet coke update order it's still 14 bucks it's still expensive all right let's see here complete my order here we go there we go we got the table number we're at table number one so it's cool it says about a 10 minute wait, but that's fine. I can go over my emails and stuff while we're waiting, so just bear with me. Yeah. I love you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying the drive with me. Oh good, I can pay off all my credit cards now. Yeah. Let me get off their Wi-Fi. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just paying some credit cards. There we go. Continue today. There we go. I'm just paying credit cards off. Oh, 
my food should be out really soon. That's only twelve bucks. One of them lives in Green Valley. And then the other one is in the Um, I know that one of them had she been going to say a lot because she was like, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Got that paid off. Now the chase one. Okay, my food's coming out, it says. Let's see here. I want to cancel this payment. Make a new payment. Their pay card. Pay card, here we go. Current balance, next. Pay today, there we go, pay it. Thank you so much. My pleasure. All right, this is what we got. We got the grilled chicken nuggets and we got a cup of soup. So we got, let, let me look at the calories real quick. I'm gonna pour this into the big gulp so I have it for later. Then we'll get this refilled so we have two drinks. So we'll wait a minute and get this refilled. There we go. Credit cards are paid. Let me enter my calories in here. I think it was 470 calories. Let me see if I can look it up. All right, 470 calories. Let me yeah. put that in. We're only up to 1,100 calories for the day. But let's go ahead and eat. Here we go. I think I'll do the honey mustard first. I don't want to get any of this on my shirt. They even brought me my fork and spoon. These are big nuggets. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure. 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 I
These grilled chicken nuggets are to die for. They're great. I'll be back. I'm going to refill. Doing game of food on my clothes. I'll be right back. I'm gonna get refill. I had to flag down an employee to get a refill, but we got the big gulp filled up, and we got this filled up. This is how you get two sodas for the price of one. I got soda on my glasses. Oh, I'll wipe them off when we get outside. Now we're going to enjoy the chicken nuggets. So is everyone doing good? But then I like I just stop and think about it. And I like Barbecue sauce now. And mustard. And it's like, it's so And it's like the weird, it's like the weird sort of thing where it's like really sad But it's like almost. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, like all of these amazing things that I'm like, don't. Look at this. And also just know that like, I like grilled chicken better than fried chicken, y'all. Yeah. Mm, now we're going to soup. Here we go. We got the soup now. I feel like I'm getting ready to walk back to the hotel. So used to being up here on the train. Right? Exactly. Yeah, that makes sense. 
Scooping the soup up on a cracker like this and eating it, look. Guys, we're getting ready to hit the road again. Wipe up my mess I made here. And get one more refill, then we're going to go to the bathroom and get out of here. guilty about filling a cup so hopefully the stream is working and we're going to get ourselves back on the road here to st louis here we go oh zach texted me i love this uh oh did i leave my vape in there All right, guys, we're going to get back on the road here. Oh, what is Zach saying to me? All right, let me get, uh, hold on. Mm. Putting the maps in. There we go. All right, here we go, back on the road. Head west on US 460 West. Turn on the heated seat. 
All right, let's see if we can actually get out of this place. This place is a disaster. Ooh, 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 I think I actually got it. Am I gonna make the light? Yes, I'm actually gonna make the light. Holy cow. It's on the yellow, but we made it. Wow, that would have taken a long time to pull out. Ooh, I gotta get my seatbelt on. We gotta get Epidemic Sound back on. We gotta get Epidemic Sound back on for y'all. Here we go. Where my Easy Pass go? I need it. I might have to hold it up the window. a little after 10 now. That Chick-fil-A was really good. I spilled Diet Coke on my Oakley's. Let me get the lens cleaning cloth. While I'm sitting here, I can clean them. I think I get one more be real post. Nope, I did them all for the day. Here's that whistle sound. I don't know what it is. Let me turn off the climate control and see if it does anything. Ooh, hopefully we can make this light, y'all. Yes, we made it. the road now. Oh no. It says I'm still on the road. If I had known there was a 14 minute slowdown, I would have paid the toll. I would have gone through Tennessee or something. It says a 14 minute slowdown. That means really about two hours probably. I have never made a good trip to St. Louis. Never. I have never had a good trip to St. Louis. It says I'm still on the fastest route, but... I like driving at night better. I have never had a good trip to St. Louis. Of all places, why in West Virginia is there a backup? I'd rather drive at night. But during the daytime, I get to wear my Oakleys. 
and I love wearing my Oakleys. I still find it sad how I can get like a hundred people on a boring live stream, but while I'm actually going somewhere, no one wants to come on. Well, uh, yeah, it looks like it's road work. Someone said something about road work earlier, but... Speaking of road work, this is the kind of stuff they should be doing at nighttime. They should not be jamming up the roads during the daytime. Oakley makes night driving glasses? Oh my gosh, I gotta... Yeah, like I said, I believe YouTube's trying to squelch me. That's why they don't notify people. Tell me more about these night driving glasses that Oakley has. Google says there's no way around this. I would love to get off and go around this. Yes, this is a toll road and there's no excuse for this. They should be doing this at night. There is no excuse for doing road work like this during the daytime. This should be going on at night when there's no traffic. There is absolutely no damned excuse for this. If this is because of road work, there is no excuse for it. An accident, I can understand, but road work, do this crap at night. I have never, I've been to St. Louis dozens of times. I've never had a trip without issues. There is, and there's no way around this. I'm looking, there is no way around this. Looks like this goes on for miles. I'm gonna have to text Jason tell him I might be up to an hour late. see how far past the exit it goes. No bullshit. Come on. I see some people getting on. I just, I don't know if there's a way around. It says, there's no, I'm, I'm looking. There's no way around this on the map. Let me try something here. No. I might take my shot to each mill road. Uh, no, there's, there's no way to get back on it. This right here is called Redeeming in the Hotel uh, Lounge.
This is totally ridiculous. I mean, you don't do this stuff during the daytime. Yeah, there is no way around this, at least not that I can see. I mean, it's totally ridiculous. I, I, I really wish. I know it's. This is just ridiculous. It's going to be. This is going to delay me. It says a 17 minute delay, but it's probably going to be like an hour or two. I'm. I'm going to try to cut over and just take my chances on that exit. Uh, too late now. I don't think there's another exit on this. I think they're getting the right lane. It might be closer to midnight when I get there, period. I'm stuck in traffic in West Virginia and there's no way around it. I feel like yelling out the window at the workers, do this crap at night. I came through here the other day and there, th this wasn't going on. This is the kind of work you do. Like I said, they, they, when you're doing work on a major interstate, you do it at night when traffic's not at peak. Not only this, you're holding up these truckers and they don't make any money when they're sitting. These poor truckers are really hurting. Yeah, most municipalities usually do their uh, road work at night. Well, there's an accident. I mean, that, that's understandable. <clears throat> if there's an accident, I can understand traffic being backed up. But for road work in the middle of the daytime, do it at night. And it's also easier on the highway workers, too, because the sun's not beating down on them. But I'm glad y'all are here with me. But yeah, I'm, if there's an accident, I can't get angry at that unless someone did something really stupid because accidents do happen. 
I hate these button-up jeans. They're my only. I'm wearing my tie-dye jeans, guys. I'm all dressed up. I, you know, you have to unplug the phone to move it. See, I'm all dressed up. But I'll tell you, this right here is the best cell phone mount ever. I wish I knew what lane the accident was in. I'm gonna roll down the window so I don't have to use the air conditioner. Save gas. I'm gonna open the sunroof. I haven't, I don't think I've ever done that in this car while I'm driving. That's cool. Obviously, we're not going to do it at 70 miles an hour. I still got to walk another one mile today to meet my quota. Yeah, if it's an accident, I'm not going to get mad. I, I, the only reason I'd be mad is if the um, state, if the state is doing work during the daytime when they really shouldn't. Turn on my heated seat so my it makes my back nice and warm. It is nice having the window so but I, it, there is just I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, those y'all with allergies, it would be miserable for it. I'm lucky because I feel like I'm inhaling pure pollen. It doesn't bother me, <clears throat> but the pollen has been awful this year. I mean, poor Zach, it's killing him. I really hope, like, I hope the accident's not bad. I hope no one's hurt. So like I said, I, I was in a bad accident recently and thank God I'm okay. But that car of Zach's was a piece of crap. So it's a blessing in disguise for him. Try to get the Diet Coke off my Oakleys. There, I think I got most of the Diet Coke off the Oakleys. We're moving a little bit. It is nice having the fresh air because I can't, I don't know. I haven't driven with the windows down at 70 miles an hour in so long. I'll see how it goes, but I don't want anything blowing out of the car. So I got stuff on the back seat. It's moving a little bit better now. What, the pollen? The pollen's really bad? I can turn the radio up. I think the phone's starting to overheat. We're only two miles away. I'm gonna get the left lane here. If I can. It's starting to move a little bit. I think we're only in this for another couple miles, so this this wasn't too bad. Oh, you got Oakley's? Cool. According to Google Maps, we're only in this for another 10 minutes. Where is the crash? It's not showing on Google Maps. 
like you said, right past the Exxon starts moving again. I want to let you guys know how nice it is having it along on these long drives. That truck sounds like it has really crappy brakes. Volvo trucks, when I was delivering them, they were really good. I finished paying off my credit cards <laughs> while I'm sitting in this traffic. I'll help my credit score. Hey, how you doing? We're just sitting in traffic on I-77. Says we'll be out of it in eight minutes. I hope that's true. Turn off the air conditioner so I don't want the car to overheat. We might drive with the windows. I got the sunroof open. I hope a bird doesn't poop on me. That would be awful if a bird pooped on me. Looks like we got, the traffic will pick up around the next bed. We got maybe a mile of this left. Yep, I did. I don't want to stop. Yeah, like I said, it must be the accident. Someone's probably doing something stupid in the construction zone. But when there's not even any road war, it's just they're redoing the rest areas up here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yep, I used to drive a Schneider truck. Mm -hmm. 
These truckers really get screwed in this traffic. Get right lane closed a half mile. Yes, and Martin is probably the worst employer I've ever had. They were a dangerous company too. I had to drive illegally with them. I do like having the windows open. Looks like it's going to pick up here really soon. This Rob 4 ahead of me is this is called The Jokes on Me by Mike Franklin. I love Zach's new car. I love it. Looks like up here, right by, it looks like about another mile maybe. I have a feeling once we get into the one lane, it'll be better. Elevators to New England, thank you for coming on. Yeah, once everyone merges up here, I think it'll be better. We're going to Google only be in this for five more minutes. There. What, now let's see if we start moving. Now that people have merged. I got the mood light on the back seat. 
Yeah, look at this. It's going to start moving now, it looks like. Yeah, right after here. This is just people not knowing how to merge. This is purely people not knowing how to merge because it looks like in less than a mile. Looks like in less than a mile, this picks up. Actually, funny thing is, guys, the best way to merge is at the last minute. Um, I was watching a study. I don't remember who did it, but the best way to merge is use both lanes as long as you can and merge at the last minute. All right, we're almost, oh, thank you for the five bucks. Who gave it? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, who gave that? Matt, you are awesome. And of course I love hearing about Montgomery Vectors. Thank you so much for the super chat. These super chats, guys, I don't think you know how much they help out because my YouTube earnings are way down. I mean, if they keep going down, I might not be able to run this channel anymore. So yeah, you guys helping this channel is tremendous. I am never going to be what you call an e-beggar, but the Patreon, the Super Chats, PayPal, it is a tremendous help to keeping this channel going. And I want to thank you for that. All right, we're moving now. Let's see what happened up here. There's the state police. Oh, that, that actually feels good. I don't know if it'll feel good at 70 miles an hour, but we're going to pull off here because I have to pee again. Exit ramp is open. Yeah, I just have to pee real quick. I think they have porta potties here. I'll throw my trash away while I'm here too. Okay, this is a little confusing, y'all. All right, this is totally confusing. Uh, I guess this is true. Where's the car parking? Said it's open. Okay, that was totally. In 1, feet, I-77 North. Totally confusing. I don't know how to get out of here. Or... Okay, let's. Okay, ah, here we go. There's no signage. I hope they have a bathroom here. Yeah, there is a bathroom here. Okay. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Gonna throw some trash away.
Now we're getting back on the road, guys. Here we go. Put the air conditioner on. All right, we will see how we get out of here now. There was no signage. Get my seatbelt on. There was no signage, y'all. Oof, big bump. Now the interstate is moving. Here we go. It has us getting off at exit 28, what? How's it have us going? No, nope, we're going, uh, looks like there's a little more traffic up here, but nothing really bad. So I'm just irritated this early in the trip. I mean, we still have 610 miles to go. All right, we got the music back now. Oh, too loud. But again, thank you for all the help financially, guys. I'm glad you guys like my music because I, I, like I said, I have over dynamic sound songs now because I'm putting a new one in each outro. Just an excuse to get more music. There we go. I don't know why I was having a hard time. I have full service here. We'll be going through some toll nozzles here soon. wait to get on the flat where I get better gas mileage. hills are eating up my gas mileage. You see what's like with the window down at 70 miles an hour. It's actually not that bad. Let me turn off the air conditioner. kind of 
nice having the window rolled down actually. Just navigation. There, that's better. Oh, that saves a lot of time. It was, uh, I had toll avoidances on. Deer are not out this time of day, thankfully. Oh, that saved a ton of miles. Slow shed on. We're going eighty miles an hour.
here, took my easy pass. I know y'all like this song. Honda makes a pickup truck. I actually like that. actually does good at high rates of speed we're going we were going 85 miles an hour it's just as smooth as can be especially considering how heavy this car is this is a heavy car
like flying around curves, though. That's one thing. This must be a travel day, because there is a lot of people on the road today. Maybe people are going to see their mothers. I do not enjoy driving this road. I can't wait to get out of way. I mean, I just don't like... This is a boring road to me, because I've driven it so many dead-gum times. My hand sanitizer is hot. I guess people are going to see their mothers. in Beckley, wow. Taking the toll road shaved about an hour off the drive. We'll be there shortly after 10, central time. Because I, I got elevator stuff, I could have flown and rented a car for the trip, but also I'm getting this car worked on in St. Louis. be gone for a little over a week. Holy cow, we're going 85 miles an hour right now. Now we're going 90. This old car will move. This car moves. I 
That might be a cop down there. Everyone's slowing down. It is. That's a slick spot to sit. I have to pee again, but I need to make some time, so I'm going to have to hold it for a little bit. My Chick-fil-A was filling. I probably won't eat again until I get to St. Louis. I might get a small snack somewhere. There's another rest area on this road before we get to Charleston. I'm just gonna slow down drinking. Beckley has some pretty cool elevators. Found an Otis Black button with a side door in Beckley. Thank you, Matt. Oh my gosh, did someone else donate? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't want to miss Super Chats because, like I said, I am very grateful for them. I am very grateful. I am very grateful for the support I get from my followers. I have eight and a half hours left, exactly. But I am very grateful. So I'll let you know how grateful I am, those of y'all that give. I'm very grateful. So like I said, you're helping to keep this channel alive. So like I said, my my YouTube channel is doing terrible. I may have 100,000 subs, but it's not doing well. Thank you, Miss Kathy. Thank you, Miss Kathy. Like I said, I love coming on here because y'all keep me company on these long trips, especially a boring trip like this that I've taken so many times. This is a little more excited because usually I go through Tennessee, but we're just running 64 the whole way once we get on it. Slowing down through the where this crossover is because I've seen several cops out today. This car is actually so much quiet. My Hyundai is a lot louder. This is such a quiet car. You can barely hear the road noise. I'll let you hear the horn. See, that's the horn. It's just there's no other cars around. 50 miles to Charleston.
Yeah, this interstate is moving along at 80. I'm going 80. I'm going to have to get over and let someone pass me. Gosh. It's about 80 is about as fast as I want to go for fuel efficiency reasons. I haven't seen Little Rock and his mom on today. I don't know if they're around. I always love having them on. Well, thank you. Did y'all see my news story? Okay, I guess I'm going to stay this late. Did y'all see my news story? I posted a link in the community tab. Zach said this is probably the best story that was ever done about me. I'll have to agree, it was really good. Little Rock, yay! I love you guys. But yeah, when y'all get a chance, go on my community tab and watch that news story. They did a great job. WSLS did a great job. I'll play the audio from it. Obviously, I'm not going to show it during uh, my drive, but I'll play the audio. Here, listen. Autism, one lift at a time. That's the mission of one Roanoke man who has found a way to connect with thousands of people through his passion for elevators. Yeah, he too has autism, and he was told that he'd never be a functioning adult. Well, today that couldn't be farther from the truth. And that man proves it to 10 News anchor Jack McGray that if he can make it in life with autism, others can do the same too in the Deep Blue Ridge. I'm an adult with autism, and I love elevators. This is Andrew Reeves, and he's not kidding about his love for elevators. You only get to live life one time, and why would I want to waste any of my time being miserable? Which is why he's always on cloud nine when he steps into his storage unit on 4th Street in Roanoke. From the old to the new, one floor to the next, he's been collecting elevator parts since the 90s. I'm like, wow, and then sometimes I'm like, I got too much stuff. He calls it his elevator museum. These are how the older elevators were controlled. And he shares it with both the community and over 100,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel called Elevate Tours. And usually I get a wow, and then they go crazy pushing on the buttons. They light up like in a real elevator. And get this, most of this audience are also people, especially children, with autism. My mission statement of my YouTube channel is elevating autism one lift at a time a lot of people with autism it's sensory based like an elevator stimulates multi senses touch sight sound motion most people love the experience see it rings a real alarm he's in heaven right now but occasionally they're like that was boring <laughs> There's a reason Andrew is so passionate about elevating the autistic community. Growing up with autism in the 80s was a challenge. In some ways it was a living hell, and in some ways it was cool. Not a lot was known about stuff like this. And I was diagnosed with ADHD, OCD, depression, anxiety, and they didn't know what was wrong with me. And I was what I would like to consider one of the Ritalin guinea pigs. I couldn't behave appropriately when I was younger. They just kept prescribing different medicines and I feel in some ways that made the situation worse. He says when he was 13, he couldn't function. I got thrown out of multiple schools in St. Louis for behavior disorders. And by the time I was 14 years old, I ended up in a um, psychiatric ward for children. Andrew says he was very closeted about his passion for elevators during that time of his life. I was told I was stupid and weird. I was always bullied for being different. Fortunately, in the 90s, Andrew says he was finally correctly diagnosed with autism, which took him off those several medications. It was a move that lifted his spirit and that opened the door for a very productive life. To someone whose parents were told that their kid would never be able to be independent, 
I think I'm doing pretty darn good. Similar to his love for elevators, Andrew is also fixated on trains, like Diesel Ducey here. Obviously my screen name everywhere, and it's named after a little toy train I've had since I was a kid. He's been working as a locomotive engineer for Norfolk Southern for over a decade. Andrew is not only a major advocate for people with autism, but a major fighter against bullying. The reason you're being bullied is because these people are insecure with themselves. So they have to go after someone they feel is weaker to make themselves feel big. In reality, you're the bigger man. Through his channel and his museum, he also educates parents on how to embrace their child's interests. A true inspiration that puts Andrew on a whole other level in life. I like to use the word unique instead of disability. Embrace who you are, love yourself, don't ever put yourself down, don't let anyone put you down because you are Look at that. just the way you are. Well, the deep blue ridge. I'm Did you see the car in front of me just throw a piece of trash out the window? I'm going to clip that out and make that a short. The timestamp in the video is right at two hours or 201 minutes. Wow, that, that. That was crazy. Did you see that? He poured it out and look, they're, they're throwing more trash out the window. That car in front of us is a litter bug. Did y'all see the guy in front of us litter? I just want to know if it was clear enough. Did you see that car in front of us litter? Cause I want to, I'm going to clip him out as a short and put him on TikTok. I just want to make, I just want to make sure. Uh, did y'all see him? Was it clear enough to see the guy throwing his trash out the window? Good, good. He is going to be made famous. I'm going to trim him out. Good. When I get when I get to where I'm going, he's going to be on a YouTube short. Litterbug in West Virginia. <laughs> I want to get closer to his car. I can zoom in on his license plate so I can give him the fame he deserves. I'm sorry, that's just low. I mean, I'm not trying to be a Karen or anything, but don't litter people. That's just trash. It's that Chevrolet up there. His car is dirty too. He doesn't care for his car anymore than he does the environment. You can hear the thing hit my car too litter bug I want to get up there and I'm going to zoom in on him maybe he'll throw more crap out his window and he doesn't use his turn signal either there I'm going to get over because he's the car in front of me. Watch this. He's not going to use his turn. Look, look at that. Look at that. This is just a bad driver, too. I'm going to try to get up. I'm going to try to stay behind him at the next toll plaza. I'll zoom in on him. He's going pretty doggone, doggone fast, too. See, I use my turn signal, but there he is. I stay on him because I want to give him the you I'm gonna give him some YouTube fame with all these cameras everywhere you never know who's watching that's why I always try to behave myself I think there's one more toll plaza up here yeah, this car in front of us just threw, threw trash out the window and I caught it on camera. Now I'm going to forever immortalize him. Looks like he dumped out some chocolate milk then threw the container out the window. 
This guy's got to be immortalized on YouTube if I can stay with him. I'm not going to drive reckless to keep up with him. No, I can't zoom in on him yet. But he'll make a good YouTube short and a TikTok video. He doesn't use his turn signals either. And he doesn't know how to wash his car. Yeah, I'm staying. I want to stay on this guy. He's going a little bit faster than I'd like to go, but these curves will slow him down. I have a word for people like that, but I can't really say it on my live stream. Oh, good. He's stuck behind a Jeep. Maybe I'll be able to catch up to him. Oh, good. His license plate is so dirty you can't even read it. Oh, they got one of those. He's probably a toll evader, too. Yeah, I'm going to stay on this guy. I'm going to go through the same toll lane he goes through at the next toll plaza. tailgating the Jeep, too. Oh, he actually used his turn signal. Oh, I'm going to have a Jeep between me and him, probably. So you know he's going to get back in that left lane. Oh, he's actually staying in the right lane for now. He's going to go back to the left lane here in just a second. Almost tempted to pass him just to get a look at him. Yeah, it's that car right there on the right. He's probably going to cut me off. Okay, JUA7047. I don't know what state yet. I'm going by him. I can't tell what state he's from. A Malibu? Oh, it's some kid. I assume it's West Virginia. Oh my gosh. You totally disrespectful people. Look like some young Hispanic kid. I'm going to get over. I'm going to let him go around me. Might be a West Virginia tag because he doesn't have a plate on the front. I'm going to zoom in so we can get a good view of him going by. I can't tell what state that is. There he is. Maybe I'll see at the toll plaza if I make it that far, because I gotta pee. I at least wanna see this, I mean, oh, wonderful. The Jeep is between me and him. He's got someone back there. He doesn't know how to maintain his speed either. He's going from 90 to 50. Right now we're going over 80 and he's getting away from us. Yeah, I don't like driving this fast. I'm not going to fly around this curb at 80 miles an hour. We're only 30 miles from Charleston right now. All 
Or he's going at least no. He's we're going 85. I just want to be able to get a good picture of him. I'll put the epidemic sound back on. All right, here comes the rest area. Trying to keep up with this guy, he's going like incredibly fast. It's probably a toll evader, too. He is taking these curves way too fast. He's actually using his turn signal now. Let's see if he gets off the rest area. If he does, I'm going to follow suit. I'm not willing to go around these curves as fast as he is because I don't want to damage my tires. Straight away, I can pick up some speed. I bet he's going to get off the rest area. Maybe he's going to buy another beverage like the one he threw out the window. My gosh, this guy is just freaking flying. I don't feel safe going as fast as he is. Well, if he goes to the rest area, we're going to park right next to him and get a look at him. Okay, now he's back out in the left lane. I don't like going around these curves this fast. This is a this is the most this is so uncomfortable. We got one mile left to the rest area. I want to see if he pulls off. Now we got this idiot just lingering in the left lane all right he's getting over the the chevy's getting over let me see if he pulls off if he pulls off i'm gonna pull off i'm just gonna stay back here so i can pull off behind him if he pulls off i think he's gonna pull off he's going really slow now so half mile oh please pull off because i gotta pee He's three cars in front of us. I can't tell if he's pulling off because it's in a curve. Oh good, this moron is pulling off. Ha! Perfect, 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 perfect. I'm gonna park right next to him. Oh, he's going in the gas station. Crap. Did he just throw more trash out? Well, here's a good look at him. Head north on rest area. There's a good look at him. In a quarter mile, merge onto I-64 West, I-77 North. Uh. JUA7047. Wonder if he thinks I'm following him. There he goes. And there goes our litter bug. Now he's going around. Head east toward I-64 West, I-77 North. I think he feels like I'm following him probably. Now I need to find a parking spot. I'm gonna park at the gas pump. Hopefully he's, oh, he just disappeared. 
I'm gonna go park at the gas pump. And then I'm gonna go in the rest area. Head west toward rest area. He's going to get gas. I know I'm going the wrong way, but I'm just gonna, I've seen what I need to see. Turn right onto rest area. So we're gonna park and we're gonna go to the bathroom. All right, I saw what I needed to see. Head east toward I-64 West, I-77 North. Well, guys, I will be right back. I just have to go pee. So I will see y'all in a little bit. I'll be back. We're back, and Litterbug is at the gas pump, and I'm gonna try to take an actual picture of him. Here we go. I need to use my hand sanitizer. I hate parking lots. All right, there he is. I'm gonna snap an actual picture of his car. There he is. Got him, picture. All right, we're back on the road now. Let me get my seatbelt on and sanitize my hands. That was litter bug back there at the gas pump. I'm almost out of hand sanitizer. Crap, I need to get my easy pass, gotta get my seatbelt on. There, he's gonna make a nice YouTube short and TikTok. Let's get our music back on. Now I have to drive like a maniac to try to keep up with him. I 
I actually like this song a lot. Pull Google Maps back up. We are, oh crap, the navigation ended. How'd that happen? Right at ten o'clock. My Avalon is loving this road trip. We only got one more toll plaza. We're about to be less than eight hours out. Well, I hope you have a good day, Orc. be back now thank you for the super chats i don't know who gave last but thank you if anyone come in i definitely will shout you out i will definitely shout you out if you super chat has anyone been on here since the beginning i just want to see if anyone's been on since the beginning Anybody been here since the beginning? Awesome. Okay, back to what I was saying. Y'all remember Litterbug a few minutes ago. Y'all remember Litterbug a few minutes ago. Was the video quality clear when Litterbug was doing his thing? Was it really good? Was the video quality really good when Litterbug was trashing the highway? Can anyone tell me? the video quality when Litterbug was doing his thing. Is anyone able to answer that question for me? How was the video quality when Litterbug was doing his thing back there? Okay, someone said it was bad. Someone said it was clear, someone said it wasn't, so I don't know. I'll, I'll have to go back and look. Well, I guess it'll, I guess it'll have to do. Maybe after it processes, it'll be good. But could you clearly see him throwing the thing out the window? That's what's important. Could you clearly see Litterbug throwing it out the window?
Could you clearly see Litterbug throwing his thing out the window? That's all I care. As long as you could see it going out the window. Oh, well, I'm still going to upload it. Okay, well, I'm going to upload it anyway. But y'all said you saw it, though. Okay, after he threw it, good. I guess I need to regularly do quality checks. I need the res... Okay, I mean, what is the quality of the video, like now? I really wish live streams were like two minutes delayed. I really wish they were like delayed so it would buffer to like 4K. Live streaming still has a long way to come before it's mainstream. Uh oh, it's time to be real. Let me get my phone down and take a picture. I hate doing this while I'm driving, but I don't want to miss my B-reel. Oh good, the toll plaza. I'll do it at the toll plaza. I'm going to have to speed up so I can do it in the next minute and a half. Oh yeah, I'll make a half mile in a minute and 16 seconds. This will be a good B-reel. We got a minute to go a half mile, so I think we can do that. All right, 45 seconds before I'm late. We'll go through this lane. Yeah, I know, I'm about to be late. We got the the B reel good. Now I get to do two more B reels today. Yep, last hole. I just can't wait to get out of these curves. Here's round 60. Thank you. 
coming into Charleston now, guys. The security building here has epic Otis elevators. And the machine room is open too. Yep, that's the correct song. We're driving, well, this is so pretty through here. Ooh, we're less than eight hours out. We have a left lane loafer. Yes, I drive the Hyundai all the time. Gosh, it's nice having brakes that don't shake. We're at 114,327 miles on this car. Or this guy is just a moron. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, North Carolina driver, for getting out of my way. Guys, thank you for all the super chats. They help me out a lot. Gas for this trip is going to be about probably seventy dollars. I just got a notification. Marina, have a good day. Thank you for coming in. I think I need to keep my phone on Do Not Disturb now that my Be Real came through.
We're coming into Charleston now, guys. Taking trips in this Toyota is so nice. This is the first really long trip I've taken in this car. Wow. We're going through downtown Charleston soon. See how much fuel I have left. Two hundred and thirteen miles, wow. We've gone one hundred and seventy three so far. We've done one hundred and seventy miles. I love this bridge up here, y'all. Is the video quality decent? I love this bridge up here. Looks like they're revamping some of it. I want to take a picture of it. I don't know what they're doing to it. Let me get in the left lane here. Looks like they're revamping it. There, got it. I got two pictures of it. Cool. Wish the hood of my car wasn't in the picture, but oh well, I can cut that out. We are now officially off the West Virginia Turnpike. We'll be seeing the state capitol here soon. I don't know if the, the I don't think the screen is wide angle enough for y'all to see it. Here's the state capitol. You might be able to see the left hand of your screen. Actually, you will see it's right in front of us. That gold dome is the state capitol of West Virginia.
We'll be in Kentucky in 90 miles, I think. Here's downtown Charleston. We stopped here, I think, in uh, it was years ago. Shot some elevator videos. It was years ago. I mean, years ago. out of the mountains. We still got a few hills, but we're pretty much out of the mountains now. getting on 64. West Virginia Lottery. They painted these bridges, they look nice. coming to us. Oh, people don't know how to merge. That's all it is. Looks like there's a cluster up here because people do not know how to merge.
We're in Charleston now, those of you just tuning in. Tucson, I like the back of it. There's a lot of North Carolina drivers up here. I wonder why. Actually, it looks like we'll be out of West Virginia in 50 miles. So this is mile marker 54. I assume the reason the mile markers were higher back there is they were going off 77. my Toyota. No turn signal. We're going out to St. Louis right now. Thank you. 
sure it is a pretty day. I hope we don't have rain. I think we're out of the big hills for a while. I know Illinois and Indiana will be totally flat. road work up ahead. Kentucky, Indiana, Illinois, and Missouri.
hope everyone's enjoying the drive. That white car in front of us is just, like, is just like my other car, except mine is silver. It's a Hyundai Accent. Sadly, they quit making that car. It was a, it's a great car. For a Hyundai, it's actually a really good car. That goes up to Point Pleasant, the low hotel. I need to upload my tour of that place. Me and Ian, me and Ian Siegel went up there. Well, there's a helicopter over there on the right. I wonder if they're giving helicopter tours or if it's just on display. Less than 500 miles south now.
rest area two miles. I'll wait till I'm out of the state to stop and pee again. I think I can make it into Kentucky. That's an elevator panel uh, rattling around. Steven, I really appreciate your help. You're very active on here. We're around 200 miles. Steak and shake sounds so good.
Good to see you back. Doing good, just on a long drive. I think we'll be able to get our fuel mileage average up to over 30 miles a gallon this trip. Five miles to Kentucky or 26 miles. River. Looks like we might, we might be driving some rain up here, guys. Looks pretty threatening to the west.
we go through some, if we go through some rain, I'll get the pollen off the car. Yeah, it's getting cloudy now. I bet you it's going to rain. doing a bridge I think Are we doing that whole side of the road over there? We got less than seven hours.
Well, that crane looks cool. It had big wheels on it. All right, once we cross the state line, I'm gonna find a bathroom. We're less than seven hours south. We're getting close to being halfway there. miles to the state line. Ooh, we got 30 people on here now. Thanks, guys. Oh, there's a Fazoli's here. I love Fazoli's. But I can't stop because I need to get where I'm going. I already ate. Now's a good time to charge my Apple Watch. miles from the state line. This Sprinter van is being a jerk. He's just sitting there hanging out in the left lane. Coming to Huntington. accent behind me. Oh, 
I love the color of this car in front of me. It's orange. I love that color. It's a Toyota. Toyota Prius. I wish the new Prius came in that color because I love that color. Like more road work up here. Good thing is we're only a few miles from the state line, 10 miles, so we shouldn't have to put up with much more road work. I love purple, I love orange, I love green. Purple is my favorite color. I also like pink too. I'm not going to Texas. Oh good, here comes the rain. Just to clean off the car. I get all the pollen off the car. I hope we have a good steady rain for a while. car is covered in pollen. Please let there be a good steady rain for a while. my car well, here's Camden Park that's that place that really cool roller coaster It's raining. relaxing. All right, six more miles to the state line. God's car wash. This is elephants and vacuum cleaners. So 
a nice sounding bridge. like the rain has stopped. Mm -hmm. Alright, here we go into Kentucky. gas. We'll be getting gas in Kentucky. All right, we're getting right crossing into Kentucky, y'all cross into Kentucky. Here we go. They'll say, welcome to Kentucky. Oh, wow. We got people here now. Now that it started raining, Here we go, 191 miles in Kentucky. Oof, bum. I've not been to Germany. Good old Ashland, Kentucky, y'all. Sorry about hitting Louisville around rush hour. Welcome to Kentucky, where we're going to go to the bathroom.
sure there'll be a welcome center we can stop at. Buckle up, phone down. I'm not stopping at a fountain drink, so I might stop at a truck stop. That'll save some time. Looks like it really rained here earlier. There might be a truck stop.
at that rain. Blue skies up ahead. Hopefully, I got some of the crap off the car, the pollen. All right, there's a loves up here at 172. It's a good place to go to the bathroom. I'll have to get gas at some point. We may keep on getting it for a while. We only get below 400 miles. Stop about another 50 miles. Well, I think that got the car a little cleaner. these if I get gas now I'll have to stop again and get gas Yeah, the car looks a lot cleaner. Look at that hood.
I do need to pee. what that was. We got the cork RGB. Yep, we got this guy. Oh, this big ram behind me wants to go really fast. We'll get out of Mr. Big Ram's way. She's not going that fast. I like that Kentucky plate he has. Uh, here's a rest area. I can stop here and pee real quick. I'll get a fountain drink when we get gas. Or if they have a vending machine here, that will expedite things a little bit because I don't want to stop again until I have to get gas. Credit, uh, the Pepsi machine has a credit card reader. All right, we'll be right back.
well, guys, we may not be getting a beverage. I can't get the credit card reader to work on any of the vending machines. Well, we got a Diet Mountain Dew, guys. Look at this. This is all I could get out of the machine with my credit card was a Diet Mountain Dew. So we are going to pour it into the big gulp cup on the ice. Here we go. We're going to make a big gulp out of a Diet Mountain Dew. Gosh, I've lost so much strength. I can't even open a soda bottle. There we go. Got it. Here we go. Big gulp time. It's getting fizzy. Unlike that one driver earlier, I'm going to throw my trash away. Yeah, they were out of Diet Pepsi. When I stop again, I'm sure my Discover card's put up. All right, here we go. Back on the road. All right. Got to get my phone back up. for Google Maps. All right, we got 440 miles left. Once I get down to about 350, I'll get gas. So I don't wanna have to stop to gas. Get the music back up as soon as the Bluetooth connects. There it goes. I actually like this song. Let me pull up the, I'm going to pull up the range here in a minute. The gas gauge doesn't work in here. I have to go by range. I do like Mountain Dew. Diet, that is. Give the super chest thanks so much i have enough fuel to go 147 miles so let's see we'll probably get gas in this state somewhere i'm gonna go at least another 50 miles 60 miles before i get gas so i only want to make one fuel stop because i don't want to waste time
be your New Year's. those of y'all that have stuck with me are enjoying the drive. I'm sorry I'm not talkative, but it's hard to read the chat when I'm going 80 miles an hour down the highway. This is the road I was in my accident on back in Williamsburg. Oh, I love that pretty blue on the bridge. U.S. My favorite road in the world. I hope I can get U.S. 60 road sign someday. Six hours away, six hours and 20 minutes. Okay, I'll call you, Jason. I'll be right back. I'm gonna mute.
All right, guys, we're back. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, Jason called. Uh, I'm going to be seeing him in less than six hours now. We're going to stop and get gas in about, I don't know, probably 50 miles. Like I said, on, when I'm on these trips, I don't stop. When I'm trying to get somewhere, I book it. I don't want to stop. Oh, Jackson's on. Good to see you. Oh, this is the truck stop one. like stopping on these trips. It's bad enough I have to stop and get gas, because getting gas takes a few minutes. Oh boy, rain again. I gotta pay attention. At least it's getting the car clean. If it gets much of it, we have to reduce speed. Oh, yeah, we're reducing speed. Headlights on. Yeah, auto headlights. I wish they, the auto headlights would come on when it started raining. There we go. Headlights are on. Ooh, look at that rain. It is pouring. Reduce more speed. Ow, my leg just had a spasm. We are now below the speed limit because of visibility. Yeah, this is whether you want to slow down in. You don't want to fly 80 miles. I'm going 60 right now. Woo, it's raining. I wanted the car clean. Looks like I'm getting my wish about getting the car clean. This rain will get any dirt off the car. Oh my gosh, this is a downpour. I'm putting my hazards on. Looks like it's going to end right up here, though. Look at that rain. I bet my car is going to be squeaky clean after this. Quick as the rain started, it looks like it's going to stop up here. I drove plane a little bit there, slowing down even more. <coughs> I'm at 55 now. Ooh, there's cars pulled over up here. Gonna go around. Oh, they're pulling out into traffic. Just like that, the rain stops. Turn off the hazards and pick up the speed again. Wow, that was some strong rain, guys. That was crazy.
crazy strong rain. All right, now we pick up our speed. We got a free car. Oh, wow. I'm looking at the hood of the car. It looks great. Free car wash. I feel sorry for people with allergies. I'm glad I don't have them. Yeah, I'm, I, like I said, this car is so much more comfortable than the Hyundai. This car is so much more comfortable than the Hyundai. All right, stop with the Earth to Andrew. I'm going to time you out. I'm trying to drive. I'm not going to sit here and read the chat while I'm driving. I glance at it. in this car on the highway is not bad. It's getting almost 30 miles a gallon. Just in town, it's terrible. It is horrible gas mileage in town. But out here on the open road, it actually does really well. If I didn't have a elevator stuff in the back, it'd do even better because I do have some white in here. Yep, going to St. Louis.
just listening for something right now. That noise from the tires, I don't know what it is. like a rope rope noise. I don't think so. I mean, I'll have to, uh, I'm wondering if something's off balance. Like I said, I'm putting the car in the shop when I get to St. Louis. are brand new tires. Yeah, these are brand new tires. There should be nothing wrong with them. Might be a wheel bearing. I'll have to check them. they put new valve stems on my wheels. That noise, it's weird. to the halfway point. I have not filled up since I left Roanoke. That noise. Might be a wheel bearing. If it is, I have to get that replaced ASAP.
Look at that replaced ASAP. It's wheel bearings, if they go, that's dangerous. Oh, I'm taking a rental car. Almost the halfway point. Are they stopping in the middle of the road? I'm going to have the wheel bearings checked when I put this in the shop. Well, thank you guys for sticking around for so long.
look at my uh, gas. My, I got enough to go 98 miles. We'll get gas soon. That's a noise in the road. US Alright guys, the service is kind of bad. There's that noise. got somebody. Are they searching their car? Yep, we're still in Kentucky for another, I'm not sure how many miles. I know I see another mile post. Hundred and four miles left in this state. I need to give Zach a call. I'll be back in a minute.
sorry about that. I was talking to the little man. I was talking to Zach, but I'm back now. We're coming into, I think, Lexington. We're almost at the halfway point and at the point where I want to get gas. be there a little after 10. I'm not going to live stream the whole time probably. Once it gets dark, I might hop off here. Got about a little over five hours left. So we've gone 334 miles so far, got 365 to go. Time's going up. I hope we're not hitting traffic. I just wonder what's going to be like in Louisville. Yeah, I'm going to get gas here in another probably 15, 20 miles. get past the halfway point. Closing in on it here.
Yeah, it was over 10 hours. This one's at 380 minutes. All right, 350 miles to 359 till we get there, 339 since we left. So, thinking another 10 miles will pass, or five or 10 miles will pass the halfway point. No, about 10 miles. We're coming to Lexington. We do fountain drink at the trash out here when we stop. Yep, still running I-64. Oh, Rafe is on. Good to see you. Look at the times going down again. I guess traffic. I guess there's some traffic up ahead. Oh, I love surfing USA. We're going to stop soon and get some. Once I pass the halfway point, I'm going to get gas. Just I'm also driving a little slow. Sorry, we dropped. I should be here. Coming into Lexington, Kentucky. Lexington, Kentucky. Stopped traffic ahead. Okay. Oh great, there is stop traffic ahead, wonderful. Wonderful, how long does the red go on for? Oh, not too far. Looks like it stops right up ahead. It looks like it just stopped. Alright guys, we're about to pass the halfway point in less than five miles. Oh boy, according to this, it's about, we're going into red right now, according to this. 
right. Let's see if it is indeed red up here. Yep, I see cars stopping. Yep, we're stopping. Wonderful. Looks like we're going to be coming out of it soon, according to Google Maps. We're speeding back up now. I knew we'd hit rush hour traffic somewhere. We'll be stopping for gas in the next 10 miles. I have my phone on do not disturb because I don't want texts and stuff coming through while I'm driving. That's really not bad. Oh, I can't wait to get there. We are about to pass the halfway point in about another, I think, mile and a half. I heard there's a water main break on Interstate 64 in St. Louis and the interstate shut down, so that's going to cause a nightmare getting in town. All right, we are officially passing the halfway point in less than a mile. Maybe I'll get off at 115 and go to one of these gas stations here. All right, we now have, we just passed the halfway point, 349 and 349.
maybe I'll stop here and get gas, go to the bathroom. I hope it's not too exp uh, Actually, I want to go to an Exxon. Because Exxon, I get 5% cash back. I gotta get up and get over here. I don't wanna go north on 75. Look at the traffic in the other direction. Oh, I get sea tink tonight. I'm kind of excited about that. We're moving along at the speed limit again. All right, we're, not, we're about to be less than five hours out. Tink is with Jason in St. Louis. Of course Tink is still alive. I wonder how that's gonna affect getting into town. truck. It's going awful fast for a swift truck. Oh gosh, he's all over the road. I'm almost scared to pass him. Yeah, yellow bird died, not Tink. We'll be getting there right around 10 o'clock. Oh, I need to stop and get gas like really soon. Got enough to go 68 miles. Surely I thought there would be some gas stations along this. Yeah, we're going. I might have to wait till Frankfurt. I wanted to go to Exxon, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. There 
there's some exits up here, but I don't know if there's any gas. I don't think Frankfurt's too far. I remember when I came to Louisville with Aaron. I remember when we came to Louisville with Aaron. That was cool. Here's some gas stations up here, Georgetown. Any gas I get here will be uh, enough to get me to uh, St. Louis. Well, those are attractions. But we're just gonna have to wait till Frankfurt. doesn't look like it's we're within 20 miles of it I think we got 5g here Wow Less than five hours out now. Wonder when we cross in the central time. I wonder when we cross in the central time. I'm not quite, I don't, uh, I've taken the Tennessee route more than I've taken this route, so I'm not too familiar with it. I'm meeting Jason there. Like I said, Jason's very private about that stuff, so I mean, I don't disclose a lot of what we do until we do it. Oh, this road's bad. Apparently we're coming into Frankfurt. I gotta turn off the air because my fingers are frozen. Let me put some heat on. Hold on. Well, my dad's doing great. I I, I need to talk to him. All right, we're coming up on some exits here. McDonald's here. Here's the new Bronco. Let's see what gas stations we have here. BP and Shell. Oh well. I guess there's no Exxon's over here because I kind of want to, I'm sure there's a truck stop. I don't want, I mean it'll probably be expensive here. 
gonna keep on going for a little bit. My mother's dead. Uh, do some research. I, I would love to get some nighttime Oakley glasses. What do they do? Which lenses are the night lenses? Twelve miles to Frankfurt. I can definitely make it there for gas. the car speeds up. I'm just going to stay in the right lane. I'm taking it easy because I don't know about this wheel bearing. We're out mile. Okay, I'm just going to pass this car because they're not keeping their speed consistent. got another I can probably make it 300 miles on a bad wheel bearing if that's what it is it's just starting to make noise like I said the whole reason I'm taking this car is Jacob's mechanic is amazing with this car he knows this car inside now and, and I'm getting some more I'm getting the rest of the suspension done I'm pretty sure I can make it another 330 miles on a wheel bearing that's just now starting to fail. I mean, Josh would probably know something about that. I figured it, it, it like I said, just, it, I hear this like, it's like a rrr, rrr noise coming from like the passenger right hand side of the car when I get, when I get to higher speeds, like at a lower speed like this, it's not doing it. I don't know what else could make a noise like that. It doesn't sound like the tire. Because, yeah, tomorrow the car is going in the shop. I've already got an appointment for the car. These are brand new tires, so I know it's not a tire problem. I know it's not the transmission because I put it in neutral and it still made the noise.
slow trucks up here. Ah, here's a bunch of gas. Here's an exit with a bunch of stuff. I want to try to find a truck stop so I can get a new fountain drink, just knock out a bunch at once, get my gas. We only got about 50 miles worth of gas left. If I could find an Exxon, that'd be nice because I get 5% cash or 3% cash back on the Apple card. I honestly think now is a good time to stop for gas. Can anyone look at the, oh, there's a Kroger up here. I can, I can uh, put a uh, phone number and try to get Kroger points. I don't know, how far is the Flying J? And does anyone know what the price of gas is at the Flying J? Good seeing you. Traffic is so thick right now. It's probably because we're coming to the metro area. Can't believe I've gotten, I'll have like 400 miles on this tank. This car has some good range on the highway. Now your trucks are so slow. I might wait another 30 miles just so I can get 400 miles on this tank. We got 50 miles till empty, and we got 30 miles to get to 400 miles. So I think I can do it. So we're getting like 27 miles a gallon. We haven't gotten gas since Roanoke. We got gas in Roanoke. I'm going to try to make it another 29 miles before I get gas. I'm, I'm out of drink too. Ooh, Chick-fil-A. Looks like there's traffic in Louisville. Well, I'm gonna get 400 miles on this tank just for the heck of it. It's so pretty through here, the way the road is cut out of the rock. We are going to hit traffic in Louisville, it looks like.
We're not going to get in a rush through here, it doesn't look like. Traffic is thick. I need to look those up, the nighttime glasses from Oakley. Stay the left lane, this is just crazy. All right, we're going like 55 miles an hour in the left lane, y'all. Lancaster, PA, I've always wanted to go to. Slaymaker Locks was based out of there. I just wonder how much traffic we're gonna hit up here. I see tra I see red up in Louisville. Twenty-five miles left till we hit four hundred miles on this tank. It will be below three hundred miles in this trip. Downtown Louisville looks pretty bad. Still says we have less still says we have less than four hours to get there. We have less than four hours to get there. Or I mean less than five hours, I'm sorry. Four hours and forty-five minutes it says still. I was wondering how long this road work goes on for. Maybe by the time I get to Louisville, the traffic will have cleared up because the traffic will have cleared up because rush hour should be over soon. Road may flood. I can't wait to get there though. I'm tired. <laughs> I hope the traffic in Louisville clears up. Other than that, I just know of a water main break in St. Louis that's like shut down 64. fixing that bridge. They're replacing the bridge, it looks like. You see if my gas mileage has changed at all. Getting almost, getting 27 miles a gallon, which is pretty good for a full-size car. So we'll be stopping for gas in the next 30 minutes. Traffic is so thick here. 
around these trucks. This pickup truck hauling a trailer is the problem. Probably stop in Shelbyville it looks like. He's now we're going the speed limit. I see a truck stop up ahead. Two truck stops. Let me see what the price is. It's probably about two or three miles up the road. Oh, I'm glad to see you got home. We've been going for almost seven hours. Wow. Oh, the Watchworks is on. Good to see you. I've seen you on a lot of my streams lately. Thanks for coming on. You're becoming a regular. I'll be getting a low fuel light soon. I also go another uh, 19 miles before I stop for gas. So that way I can say I drove 400 miles on one tank. Oh, no problem. I'm going to check out your channel at some point. So if you're in old clocks and stuff, I love clocks. Look at this that I got down here, a vintage Casio clock from the 1980s. It doesn't keep very good time though. It's an older quartz clock and it doesn't keep very good time. Fuel range is we have 47 miles till empty. And I wanna go another 18 miles then I'll start looking for gas. Three twenty nine is kind of high too. I think there'll be plenty of places to stop between here and Louisville. This car is crazy. It'll get like um, I can go four hundred miles on a tank on the highway. But in the city, I can only get about 250. I'll tell you, all people out west have really insanely high gas. Let's see here, we have 
Shelbyville coming up in 10 miles. We can stop somewhere there. And Louisville is 40 miles, so yeah, I have enough gas to go 46. I could probably make it all the way to Louisville. Especially averaging 27 miles a gallon. Another 15 miles will be at 400 miles on this tank. That is an insane range. This car does have range on the highway. In the city, the range is terrible. Lane ends one mile. Not to pee really bad too. Another, I want to go at least 15 miles. Because this car is a big three liter V6. That's why the city range is so bad. It's a big car with Yep, we went through Charleston, West Virginia earlier. You'll probably be getting a low fuel light soon. The gas gauge doesn't work, but the computer and the low fuel light does. Our fuel range is 43 miles, and I want to go another 13 or 12 miles now. Oh, yeah, years ago when I stopped in uh, Louisville, Charleston. I wish I went in such a rush because I have a friend in Louisville I want to see. I may have two months to get to them, question mark, to film, question mark.
All right, we're gonna stop for gas in another 10 miles. And I've got 40 miles available. This is appropriate. I'm in Kentucky and a song called Kentucky Chase is playing. We only got four and a half hours left to get there now. How long have we been on the road for? How long have we been streaming for? We've been streaming for a while. Seven hours and 10 minutes. All right, six miles left, I'm gonna stop for gas. I can't believe how far I've gone on one tank. Let's see. I've got 39 miles left and I want to go another six miles now. Low fuel ice not even on yet. Simpsonville is in six miles, so that's probably where we'll stop. That's where we'll stop, in six miles. Let's see what the actual odometer says. 114555. Come all the way from the Kroger and Vinton to here. We'll also get the trash out of the car when we stop. We're 
now at less than 300 miles. pilot up there oh I'm jealous a jet of diesel I hope it's manual I'm going to be paying a lot for gas. All right, now I've officially hit 398, so next exit with the gas station I'll be stopping at. And we've now got less than, uh, we've got less than 300 miles left till we get there. Let y'all watch this. This is how far we've gone on this tank of gas. That's how much we have left. One mile left till we got 400 miles on this tank. On the highway going 70 to 80 miles an hour, we can go over 400 miles on a tank. There we go, we got it. 400 miles on one tank. Now I'm going to look for a gas station. <laughs> Should be getting a low fuel light soon because as you know the gas gauge does not work but the low fuel light does. I'm probably going to be paying a lot for gas. Welcome to Louisville Metro. We're in the Louisville area. Wow. I'll let this play just for y'all.
This is wonderful. The YouTube Studio app does not have a dark mode anymore. That's going to be noxious. I won't be able to look at the studio up at night anymore because it's too bright. Right now we got to find a gas station. Being in the Louisville metro area, there should be plenty of gas stations now. Just getting gas and fountain drinks is going to eat up time though. Well, I'm not going to take that exit. Only problem is, in a lot of metro areas, there's no internet, interstate oasis signs, so. Yeah, I'm not taking that freeway. Oh, I see some Oasis signs up here. I guess that's where we're gonna stop. There are some bad potholes on this road that I've dodged. I see Oasis signs up ahead. If there's multiple gas stations here, maybe the gas will be cheaper for competition. We've got 30 miles left. There's a lot of restaurants. I don't see any gas stations. Oh, there's a Circle K. They have a good soda fountain. We'll stop there and they have clean restrooms. find the Circle K. 
We got 29 miles. To, oh my gosh, getting off here. Good, it's to the right. Oh, the light just turned green. Now let's find that Circle K and enjoy their soda fountain. Up, it's right over there. Holy crap, 368 a gallon. I thought it'd be cheaper since there's more stations. This is gonna be expensive, y'all. I wish I had an app. I mean, gas buddy doesn't really work. I wish I had an app where I could play in my fuel stops and prices. This is where some super chats could really help right now. It's gonna be about a $60 fill up. I have kept y'all entertained all day. I don't have a choice. I've only got 29 miles left. I gotta go pee before I do anything. Holy shit, 378? I don't have a choice. I'm gonna pick another pump. What is easy pay? Oh, 378, that's ridiculous, guys. I could really use some help. Feel free to super chat and help me out. This is gonna be like an $80 fill up, y'all. Wow, well, if someone did help out, thank you, I love you. I love you, let's see here, hold on. Let me see, 88 miles. Yeah, it's gonna be over 60 bucks. There's no real, I mean, there's no real apps where I can like check gas prices on my routes. Let me see here. All right. Yeah, it's gonna be over 60 bucks. <sighs> oh well, it is what it is. It is what it is. All right, I'm, I'm curious to see how much, oh, let me turn off the headlights. I don't wanna have trouble starting the car. All right, we've got 10 gallons in so far at 38 bucks. All right, the range is going up. We went 408 miles on this tank. Let me turn off everything because I don't want to have problems starting the car. Yeah, it's gonna be 60 bucks, I was right.
I can feel the car sinking down as the gas goes in the tank. Oh, there we go. Right at 399 miles. So I got to go pee. So I don't want to stream the stream, y'all. I'll be back in just a few minutes.
We're gonna get the trash out of the car now. I don't think I have any more trash in here. Someone complimented me on my outfit, wow. All right, so I need help figuring out gas mileage, guys. Let me start the car. All right, this is where I need, okay, we went 408 miles. Around, okay, 409 miles on 15 gallons exactly. Please figure out my gas mileage. And we got drinks. Please help me figure out my gas mileage. 409, uh, 409 miles. Let's reset. So please help me figure that out. I just can't do the math. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. I'll give you a, yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, they have a thing where you pay a month to get unlimited drinks. I'm, if they were in Roanoke, I would do that. I need to get something out of the trunk, guys. I'll be right back. I love you guys. I'm sorry for getting upset earlier, but I'm just... $57 to fill up this car. But I went 400 miles on that. Let me reset all my stuff. I need to get some out of the trunk. I had to get my hand warmers and something I really don't need my disposable vape because it's got more nicotine in it than my other vape. Now we got some people on here. Wow. All right, we're going to hit the road now. Let me see if that wheel bearing is hot. I'm going to check that wheel and see if anything's hot over there. Let's see if I have a hot bearing. I'll be right back. I want to check that wheel bearing. Feels like there's a little heat coming off it, but it's not like scorching hot, so it should be fine. All right, guys, we're gonna hit the road. Here we are, under, okay, let's see here. Uh, let me see what she said. Um, $0.32 cents a mile is what I'm paying to drive this car, is what you're saying? That's probably about right. 
but we're getting back on the road now. That was a nice stop. Here we go. That's not awful, but I'll tell you, I wish we didn't have to own cars. Owning a car sucks, I'll tell you. The costs of owning a car suck. Let me put my um, GPS back. All right, we are now four hours and 18 minutes out. Ooh, I'm gonna pull out. These people can wait. Road closed? Huh, maybe it's closed in St. Louis. I just got a notification saying Interstate 64 is closed. I think I know exactly where it's closed. One hundred ninety-seven miles. It's, oh, great! This lane ends. Got to merge over two times. Wow! This is a bad merge. Got all these trucks. I'm gonna get over. I'm not gonna go 50 miles an hour. Three, wow, so this gauge was actually pretty accurate for my gas mileage. So this car gets 27 miles a gallon on the highway driving fairly aggressively. Let me turn the hand warmers on. I don't want to stop a whole lot till I'm there. We got like right at four hours left. I'm getting in the left lane. Here's a Carvana vending machine. Carvana's not doing too well from what I've heard. We got people on here now. Thank you, guys. I got plenty of soda. I got a Polar Pop. <clears throat> I haven't stopped a whole lot. I mean, it's not like I'm going out, running around looking at elevators. You, Jim. Glad we got some more people on here now. It's nice. We're coming through Louisville. My B real going through here. Oh my gosh, look at that Volvo in the right lane. We used to have one just like that when I was a kid. Same color, same everything. Just like that. I love that Volvo 240. That is a cool car. That is a cool car. crossing in Indiana soon. Hopefully we missed the rush hour traffic. I really hope we missed the traffic. 
So now it says we're gonna be there a little after 10. I guess that's acceptable. about to be under four hours. Twenty seven point seven miles a gallon, that includes mountains too. That includes going through the mountains. Hmm. I'd say we'll get close to 30 miles a gallon. It says we're getting 30 miles a gallon average right now, but that'll probably go down it is going down. We're getting right at 30 miles a gallon on the flat at 72 miles an hour. Let me sip the big gulp down a little bit. There's a lot of traffic here, but at least we're moving. down to one lane. Or so it says, we'll be in um, Indiana in eight miles. Up oh, here comes downtown Louisville. I love Louisville. It's a neat town, y'all. It's a really neat town, y'all. Louisville, Kentucky. Here's the tunnel. I got a picture of it. I did. Awesome. Yep, Louisville, Kentucky. I think this is the last major city we go through before St. Louis. up here is where we're going to central time once we cross the river I think Larry let me try this hold on that might have fixed it oh the left lane is open okay
Yeah, if it gets blurry, let me know, guys, because I can usually open the app, or I can, I can go to the home screen and reopen the app, and it'll usually come back. Toll bridge going north? Wow. All right, we're slowing down. Hang on. Oh, wow, look at the exit ramp backed onto the shoulder. If I'm getting third uh, bridge closure, I didn't see that. Uh oh. Uh oh, I hope the bridge ain't closed. It's double the cost to pay by mail. Wow. slow down and enjoy seeing Louisville there's Louisville Kentucky Downtown Louisville. I think I get one more B reel today. I like the way it doesn't have my B real screen name anymore when I save stuff. Let me see if I got, let me check my call log. No calls. All right, guys, we're getting ready to cross into Indiana here in just a couple miles. Three miles left in this state. I see downtown Louisville behind us. Three miles left exactly. That was the three mile post. We're getting 30 miles a gallon, y'all. Something sounds like it's loose on that semi up there. I want to 
get around this truck. That does not sound good. You can still hear it, it's behind us. Well, look at this. This guy's an idiot. And that Toyota, he just crossed three lanes, he's zipping in and out. Wow. So far, we made it through here without catching traffic. We should be good to St. Louis now. All right, let me try this. Crossing the Ohio River now. Here we go. All right, there's just too many trucks around. Try to take a picture of the bridge, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I don't like driving distracted. I wish there weren't all these trucks. Got it. This is a good picture right here. Probably blurring because it's getting dark out. Let me get Google Maps back up. Ooh. Welcome to Indiana. I'm gonna have to turn the air conditioner off because I'm getting cold. Okay, what is this car doing? Merging at the last minute? Okay. These roads are awful. Oh, we got less than four hours to get there. Yay. Holding mobile phones while driving prohibited. That's actually a good law. Even though I was holding a mobile phone a minute ago. Let's get epidemic sound up. Here we go. Fifty-five through. I'm turning off the air conditioner. It is just freezing in here. I think you get bare gas mileage without the air conditioner too. I think Mythbusters did something about air conditioning. I wonder how much the air conditioner really uses up your gas. Someone special gave me these hand warmers and they are a lifesaver because my hand froze up from holding the drink. This upgrade is killing my fuel mileage. This is a steady upgrade right here. Yeah, I rode a Greyhound bus years ago. And guys, just, I want to apologize ahead of time. I'm not ignoring you guys. Just please realize I'm driving and I'm only going to catch maybe a handful of messages. So just 
please don't think I'm ignoring you because I'm not. So at the highway speeds, the air conditioner does not affect your gas mileage. I didn't think so. This is by the same person that does high on you. Speed limit's only 55 through here, but everyone's going faster. I do not want to win a driving award, if you know what I mean. I'm sure you guys know what a driving award is. <laughs> Issued by the Indiana State Police. <laughs> 119 miles in this state, I believe. We're only 268 miles away from our destination. Yeah, a ticket. I don't want a driving award. <laughs> yeah, I don't usually run full AC. I'm actually about to turn on the heater. Turn off the AC, turn up the heat. I just turn on the heater. I'm going to make it hot in here. I got the hand warmers out. I got the heat on as high as it'll go. And I'm still cold. And it's 71 degrees outside. Being skinny sucks. Ugh. Yeah, I heard about a water main. All right, now I'm finally starting to warm up. There, I'll turn the heat, I'll turn it back down to 70 and just cut it off. Oh, it's a trucker term for getting a ticket, a speeding ticket. Uh, three hours and 54 minutes. Once I cross into St. Louis, if I'm still on the stream, I'll probably cut it. Now we're up to 70. St. Louis, 246, Corridian, 15, Lanesville, 6. I met up with a guy in Corridian a few years ago. I think I did an autism outreach there. If I remember correctly, I did an autism outreach somewhere around here. I just don't have time to stop. I have to get on the road. What's advance in Corey? What what is advance? And it's raining. Watchworks, thanks for coming on. Thank you for coming on so much. Yeah, I'm gonna obviously make a phone call when I get close to St. Louis because I can take surface streets. I don't need to buy any auto parts right now. I'll be 
you're streaming for a little while longer. Good job passing your move goal. Oh, oh, you're talking about in the past. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, the celebrity. I miss that car. I wish Nick didn't drive the hell out of that car. I try to take good care of my cars. I love my cars. No, I don't want to dox anybody. That's the last thing I want to do. Like I said, Elevate Tour is about doing good for others. And if I were to dox someone, the live stream would disappear really quick. And then I would cut it out, then republish it. His name was Carrie, I think. I mean, Carrie texts me. Carrie is a good dude. I don't think he's on YouTube, but he's a good dude. Carrie is a good dude. Too bad I don't have time to stop. Because him and his family, he's a good dude. Yeah, I'm putting to you. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, Carrie is. I wish I had time to stop and see him. I'll have to see on the way back how, how time looks, but I need to get home and see Zach. But Carrie's a good dude. I like him. He's a nice dude. Does anyone know what this song is? I'll tell you what we'll do. Uh, I, I think, I don't know if Carrie watches these live streams or not. But I'm going to shout out the window really loud as I drive by his exit. I'm going to shout, hi, Carrie. <laughs> He's cool. I really like him. Yep, it's Elevate Tour time. When we pass Carrie's exit, I'm gonna shout out. I mean, he'll, he won't hear me, but if he's watching this YouTube video, he will. So Carrie, if you're watching this, Here's a shout out to you. Hi, Carrie. Sorry I don't have time, but I got to get on down the road. I'm kind of in a hurry. I'm running later than I want to run right now. I'm not hearing that wheel bearing noise anymore, but still. Wheel bearings are something you don't want to play around with. If they go bad, your wheel can fall. That's the thing, like, I love, I mean, some people are like, yeah, your car, be good to your car, and your car will be good to you. Even if you have, like, a crappy car, like a Hyundai or a Yugo or, like, a, just a cheap car, if you take care of it, it'll be good to you, even like a Mitsubishi Mirage. I hope Carrie's watching, because I like him. So, as we go by Corridor, we're going to shout hi to Carrie. And everyone on the stream, once I do it, feel free to say hi to him in the chat. So I don't think he has a YouTube account. I'm taking these trips. But yeah, when I put this car in the shop tomorrow, I'm going to tell the mechanic, go over the car, fix whatever needs to be fixed on it. I want my car to be safe and reliable because this car, I am sentimental with this car. This is one of the few cars I've owned that I'm sentimental with. And I plan on keeping it for the rest of my life. I love this car. That's why I don't drive it very much, because I want to preserve this car. It's not so much, I didn't really buy this car for the car. 
I bought this car for the memories I've had in this car. I love this car. Not just, like I said, it's a nice, there, there's so much I love about this car. This quite possibly might be the most favorite car I've ever owned. It's a toss up between this, the Cadillac and my Volvo. Oh, this is a good mechanic. This is, I mean, Jacob has been using this mechanic for years and years. <clears throat> he has been using this mechanic for years. Thing is, when you, it's at the point now, anytime you take your car to the shop, you're going to be out about I think that might be an undercover cop getting ready to pass me. Yes, Volvo made manuals. I would love to get a manual 240. Okay, maybe that is not, uh, no Missouri tags. He's not undercover. If we're going by Corridan, we're getting ready to pass Cary Land. Sorry, I can't stop. I would love to stop and eat a Culver's with him. I love Culver's. That's cool. Yeah, Carrie done. Because Carrie lives there. If Carrie watches this, I hope it makes him happy that I'm talking about him. All right, I'm going to roll down the window as I go by this exit, even though he won't hear me. It's just the principle. This is Corian. Uh, Zach has to work. All right, here we go. Hi, Carrie. Wish I could see you, but I have to get to St. Louis. There, I said hi to Carrie. He's awesome, though, really. He's a good dude. People like him are why I do elevate tours. So sorry I don't have time to stop. It's just when I take these drives, I rarely have time to stop. So I feel bad because like I said, I know he really wants to see me. I wish I I really wish I had time, but if I you know I'm I'm always running late. Carrie knows someone that owns or manages a medical building and he took me in there. What was scrapped? noise again. I better slow down. Yeah, they're long gone. I only got 250 miles left. Even if the wheel bearing is failing, surely it can make another 250 miles. The only thing about risky about taking an older car like this on a trip older car that's an El Camino on the back of that uh, 
on the back of that trailer, someone's got an old El Camino. Those are cool. Yeah, well, that, that's why I'm putting the car in the shop. I'm getting maintenance done to keep my car reliable. It'll probably just start making more and more and more noise. I don't know if you can hear the noise on the live stream. But it sounds like kind of like a tire rumbling or something. Well, that's a shame. That's a cool El Camino, and it's in pretty bad shape. I just want to see that El Camino. That's why I sped up. I'm going to get back over now. That is a cool El Camino. I'm going to pay for a new fuel cluster. When I have the computer that works, I can tell exactly when I need gas. I assume the noise just got worse and worse and worse because it's intermittent. It's intermittent. I can't say the word intermittent. The noise I'm hearing is intermittent. It only happens at speeds for some reason it happens more so in the left lane when the road is curving. Excuse me. Ugh. I'll publish a YouTube video. Let, let me see. Okay, I don't like that there's no dark mode on Creator Studio. Yeah, make YouTube better. Give me my dark mode back. Give me my dark mode back, people. No, I said the trip computer works so I can, I know how much fuel I have. So I'm not going to pay to get it fixed when I can still tell how much fuel I have. There, I just published a video. I'm not going to try to figure out dark mode while I'm driving. I think y'all like the video I published today. It's a very lousy elevator. At least I th I'm, I'm, like, I'm not sure what the noise is, but I'm gonna have, I'm gonna tell the mechanic and I'm sure he can figure it out. I drank 44 ounces of soda and I haven't had to pee yet. We're gonna have to pee at some point. Yep, we've been here all day. I don't know if this will be the longest live stream I've ever done, but it's gonna rank up there. Yep, and Jason. I'm gonna try to see Brendan too. Uh-uh. <laughs> 
<clears throat> we got 50 people on here now. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. It, it was a little bit sparse earlier, but I guess people are at work in school. Now that people are getting off, they're coming back on. Watching my boring drive. Okay, Little Rock's mom, did you hear the noise was audible? Let me turn the radio off. And I'll see if I can get the left lane and, and replicate it. Because it only seems to do it in the left lane and when I'm going above 70. Now it's not doing it. Here it is, listen. It's not doing it now, wonderful. back over because people want to go faster I guess up oh, I heard a little bit I'm trying to listen out for it because it probably cooled off when I stopped get out in the left lane to go fast again and maybe it'll do it again. That Volkswagen's all over the road. No noise. Still no noise. I've heard it a little bit. Let me see. a little bit. It almost sounds like hitting a rumble strip, but it's not as loud as it was earlier. preheat fluorescent in the back. We're going to have mood lighting in here later. What happened 8 minutes and 17 seconds into the video?
Diesel Ducey is on the passenger seat. Oh, okay. It had to have been later. I mean, I keep, like I said, it's... I'm just going to put the radio back on. It's so stuffy in here without the air conditioner on. Ah, the hand warmer feels so good. It's hot. put Google Maps back on. We'll be there in less than three and a half hours. And now I am feeling the urge to urinate. But I'm going to keep driving for a while. I'm hearing the noise again. There it was. Let me turn the radio off. It almost sounded like hitting a rumble strip, but it's not that loud or pronounced. It's like, uh, 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 that's what it sounds like. It's literally like when I want it to do it, it won't. As long as this car gets me to St. Louis, I'll, I'll be happy. There it was. And again.
Heard it really good that time. Did you all hear it? I don't know what it is. Were y'all able to hear the noise when I said there it was? doing it more frequently now as I'm maintaining a high rate of speed. When I slow down, it goes away. You are a sweetheart, Kathy. I'll check Facebook, obviously, when I stop. But, um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, these are brand new tires. These are new tires. These tires have maybe 500 miles on them. I heard it good that time. If it was the transmission, it would not do it in neutral. Because I put it in neutral earlier and it still did it. we're going to get rain again. I'll put the music back on. Very slight. That was too loud. Very slight. Very slight feeling. But almost non-noticeable. here I am exact uh, all right I'll have to um, call you here I'm gonna call you as soon as I get in a straightaway here I am three hours and 19 minutes away I'm gonna mute the mic I'll call you Jason
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Like I said, on these long, long live streams, I am going to occasionally mute my mic because I do need to make phone calls and take phone calls, and I apologize about it, but it's just a fact of life. Thank you for joining. I'm actually in Indiana now. We are soon going to be less than three hours out. holiday world. I think I can lose the sunglasses here soon. Yep, I'm going to lose the sunglasses soon. miles left in this state. I'm going to be hungry when I get to, I can't wait to go eat when I get there. it is a circus song. Well, thank you for joining the channel. Oh, free fry Friday. Oh, if I hadn't gone to CC's last night, I'd be tempted to get some French fries, but I don't really need them. Ryan Russell. Ryan Russell is our newest member. Huge shout out and thank you to him. One hundred ninety-three miles to St. Louis. Two hundred ten miles to my destination. Listen. I was doing it pretty bad there a second ago, but I'm going to stop at this rest area and pee. Hear it? very easy on the brake so I pull this rest area and let's see if I can feel any heat coming off the wheels. If I don't use the brakes to stop they won't get hot.
you know, the live stream is not really picking it up. It's not doing it now that I slowed down because I'm getting off of this rest area. Now try to only stop one more time. In 600 minutes, I think it'll be 10 hours. There's some uphill here. Now I'm gonna have to use the brakes. This is gonna make them hot. This is a nice rest area. I'm not sure the longest I've been on here. I know over 10 hours. I'll throw the cup away too. Yeah, I had to use the brakes. Oh well. I will be back in just a few minutes, guys.
Guys, we're getting back on the road now. Here we go. Let me put my sunglasses up. Head west toward I-64 West. Yeah, I don't think I need my sunglasses anymore. Check conditions before you go. Yeah, the road is closed, I know. Let me wipe these glasses off a little bit. Ooh, those hand warmers are butt warmers now. All right, guys, here we go. Plug the phone back in. Well, I love you too. Uh, smoking a cigarette. Here we go. Seven miles and we'll be in Illinois. We are now less than three hours out.
but the headlights came on. We are now two hours and 59 minutes away. Awesome, good to see you again, Zach. glad you're happy. Makes me happy to hear other people happy. I was actually about to send that to you. We're on the final stretch here soon. I'll give you all a 10 hour live stream. Need to go easy on the drink so I don't have to pee again. We've only got about two hours and 50 minutes. I don't think so. I think another one I did driving out here is longer, but I'm not sure. had to refuel once I got like 400 and uh, what was it guys how many miles on the tank did I get 409 I don't remember four oh nine thank you The Avalon. The Toyota. I love this car. I want to see if you can see the light in the back. Yeah, you can. Watch this. Preheat fluorescent, about 74 miles an hour. We'll have some mood lighting on later. Should be dark in the next hour or so. What's so special about this house in Kentucky?
It'll be dark here soon. And the speed limit on this road is 70. I'm going right at 74. They hit the rumble strip and they're texting and driving. Wonderful. I saw the driver with a cell phone in his hand back there. Come on, people. If I want to put my cell phone in my hand, I have to unplug it. I deliberately have these cords short to where I can't hold the cell phone. That Ford Escape back there was texting and driving. Wonderful. Forty-six miles to Illinois. What's I mean? What's so special about that house? Of course, I would use autopilot. I would love to have a self-driving car. Yes, Plaza Frontenac is still around, and I believe it's 1970-something. This road is empty now. I'm the only one on it. I'll be glad when this drive is over. See, look, there's no other cars around me. A normal Prius, just because I don't have the infrastructure to charge it. stop anymore if I can help it. I might have to pee one more time, but I'm trying to get to Missouri. I have two hours and 45 minutes left. Yeah, texting and driving is stupid.
Let me know when we hit the 10 hour mark. like to drive and eat anymore because I don't want to get stuff in my car. I like to keep my cars clean and free of grease. noise good that time. Well, it's going to be night soon. Hundred and sixty nine miles to St. Louis. Yay. Listen. Was again. Again. I don't know if it's a wheel bearing or what, or just a bad tire, or not a bad tire, just regular noise. here.
Now this is when you have to worry about deer. Nine minutes and eight seconds, thank you. We are in the middle of nowhere. Um, I'll let you know a mile marker when I see one. Mile marker 33. We are 33 miles from Illinois. I had to say hi to you because you are awesome, period. I hope everything's going well, period. That would be crazy if someone has actually been here the whole time. There might be some filming going on at some point. Has anyone been here the whole time? Thank you for being here. I know this is probably a boring video. But I'm very grateful for those of you that will that, that are willing to spend time with me. Good old Henderson, Kentucky. I've been there multiple times. We're at least going to get 10 hours in, guys. I have not seen Alex Stack recently, but he's awesome. I'm glad you like my older videos. I'm trying to, um, I, I'm honestly trying to bring back some of the nostalgia of my older videos.
that's why you're seeing diesel DC in all my videos. Oh boy, licking the icicle. The day's in Princeton. I can't turn around. I have to get to St. Louis. What's an extra 29A? Evansville is a cool place. I think Jay filmed some vintage Dover elevators that used to be there. Interstate 64. I'm not stopping until I get to Missouri. I was on the Union Pacific one a few weeks ago. Ooh, I love Subway's Meatball Sub, but I think Sheets' is better. I actually own Jacob's microphone. It's in Roanoke. I've only been on an S. They skimp on stuff. Subway's pretty skimpy. That was funny. Noise is happening a lot. Let's see if you can hear it. that I want to have it won't. Uh, I don't know. I kind of want to behave myself. We may tell some people about my big gold later. farted in a while, probably about an hour or so. 23 miles to another state.
we get to 10 hours, so I'm probably going to cut. I mean, I do have to make some phone calls. If you can deal with a muted mic for a while, I'll leave it run. Where are the old elevators? Make a phone. I'm gonna mute the mic for a little bit. I need to make a couple phone calls, but I will be back in a little bit. Would you rather me mute the mic or end the stream? I'll leave it up to you guys. It's up to you guys because ultimately you guys are the happy one, the ones I want to keep happy. All right, I will be back in a little while.
All right, guys, I'm back until we get to Missouri. And I'm sorry about that, guys. Like I said, I just had to, I had to call a few people because I just needed to. But I'm back and I, I saw the super chat and I just wanted to thank you so much. I saw the $5 super chat. I haven't forgot about you. It was Drew Darling, I think, that gave it. And thank you so much. But yeah, I'll be on here until we're going to end right after we get uh, to St. Louis. But this might be the longest live stream ever. I don't know. Except for the one about my budgies, where it basically went for two days, then stopped. Speaking of, it's time to pee. And we're coming close to Mount Vernon, which is where I had to direct a bus driver. And we have just a little, we only have about an hour and a half left until we're at, at the state line. Oh, I almost missed my turn. Uh, excuse me. I'm hoping this is my last stop. I'm going to try not to drink anymore. I'm less than 100 miles from St. Louis now. I wonder what rest area this is. Where is the car? There, let's see here. I can't wait to get there and eat something. Like I said, I mean, I would have ended the stream, but because like I said, I, don't, I know y'all don't want to sit there looking at a blank screen, but like I said, when I'm on the road this long, I do have to talk to people sometimes. I hope this is the last stop. I'll be back in just a few minutes.
I'm gonna show you something really cool we got going on in the back seat here. We turn the camera, watch this. Here we go, it's time that time of day. That's right, we got a blue fluorescent light in the back. Preheat. So now we got mood lighting. And here we go. Yes, I remember my seatbelt almost before I started driving. I'm gonna turn off the light so I can see it back up. All right, we're gonna put the mood lighting back on, guys. Here we go, mood light. Now we'll look out the front. Oh, I, I like the light in the back seat. I wish I could put it like, I wish I could mount it. That would be cool. But yeah, we got a nice blue light in the back. I could mount it under the floorboard. That would be cool. Make some cool ambience in here. And I think our music is back. Let me get the navigation back up. Less than an hour and a half, wow. Yep, I have an inverter in here. A pure sine wave inverter too. These headlights, I'll tell you, newer cars headlights are so much better. Once I don't see any cars, I'll show you how bad the high beams are on this car. See, look, high beam, low beam. High beam, low beam. see a little bit yeah they're a little bit but they're not good wonderful There, I think we're back. I think we're back. I'm not sure. I hope we're back. Oh, I need to dim my high beams. They're so weak, I can barely even tell they're on. Oh, I see a truck stop up ahead. It's going to be time for a new soda soon, but I'll be there soon, so... I talked to Zach, I talked to Aaron, I talked to Jason, so I'm happy. I miss the little man though. Well, we actually have people on here now. Mount Vernon, Illinois, awesome. Cross the river, we're going to end the stream. I 
wonder if this will be my longest live stream ever. I don't know, because we're going to go for about another, a little less than an hour, probably. These headlights are kind of pathetic. Oh no, we're coming to my old stomping grounds. Red Lake, places like that. Uh, the sound of those places is familiar. I just can't wait to get there. We had a bunch of people on and now they all left. I guess my live stream is too boring. Sorry I'm so boring. There's a Menard store. A Menard store. the McDonald's over there. It used to be the Greyhound bus station. Probably still is. That Holiday Inn used to have a holodome. Slow chat is on. I don't know what I'm going to stream again. Follow the signs to St. Louis. Yep, I see Jason and Jacob.
Something smells like a burning tire. It's not on this car. All right, we're back in the 70 mile an hour speed zone. Yeah, just over 70 miles, it said. Mm. I cannot select songs that I'm driving. It's just going to play what it plays. Like I said, it may cut in and out, so just bear with it. There's a lot of potholes on I-64 through here. I turn the air conditioner off. Uh, the Elevator Museum is about 600 miles away right now. St. Louis, and we're almost there. We're only about 70, but we are less than an hour out. I wonder um, if this is my longest stream ever. But here is some preheat fluorescent action from the back seat. I got a blue preheat fluorescent light in here. St. Louis has the arch. And unless this interstate is closed, we're going to be going in to where you can see the arch. Yeah, it was a nice startup. It's really blinky. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, I have some elevator parts in the trunk. I also have some that will be going back. Yeah, we've been to St. Louis many times. It's home. This is my hometown. I do miss a little man, though. I miss a little man back home. Let me see if I can fix it. Just due to the live nature of the video, it's going to be crappy at times, probably.
rough, rough, rough. charge the Apple Watch for a little bit. I will do a video of the Elevator Museum at some point. This road is utterly terrible. I can see why the truck is riding the left lane. I'm gonna ride the left lane too because I want to brake an axle. I don't know what I can do about it. I can try opening the app and closing again. Other than that, there's nothing I can do. If you're there, you've come at the wrong time. Because I won't be there for at least another week. Alright, well maybe it's on Rafeson then. We have a troll in here. The door is open. You're full of crap. Oh, thank you. Uh, I thought I saw a super chat, but I don't know what's going on with it. Who super chatted? It didn't go through right. I can't read it. Someone just super chatted and I can't even thank them. Yeah, because the facility is closed right now anyway. It's just a troll. But uh, did someone just super chat? If they did, I couldn't see it because my chat messed up. I want to properly thank them if they did. I want to properly thank the person because I thought I saw a super chat come through, but it was all jarbled. Okay, must be from earlier. YouTube's live streams have been really glitchy lately. Yeah, it looked like a super chat just came in, but YouTube is being glitch. Oh, there's Drew Darlings. Oh. I'll tell you, this chat is so messed up. But thank you, Drew Darling. That was from earlier, but thank you. Why did I just now see it?
Yeah, YouTube is one thing, at least on iOS, that has gotten nothing but worse. I can see why this truck's riding the left lane. That right lane, that'll break a freaking axle. Yeah, it was from earlier. It came through again, and it, it was from earlier. Well, you guys have paid for half my tank, so thanks. Thank for half a tank. A thanks for half a tank. That rhymes. Cool. It's bad. The YouTube mobile app has gotten really bad. And I don't like that on Creator Studio, they took away the dark mode. YouTube is just punishing iPhone users. I'm sure their Android app is great, but they're punishing iPhone users. Wow, I wonder how much that costs to fix. Well, I love dark mode. I wonder how much that costs to fix the Interstate 10 incident. I'll tell you, it's to the point now, anytime you put your car in the shop, it's gotta be at least thousand dollars. It's gonna be at least a thousand dollars pretty much. I have YouTube premium. I like it because I don't have to watch ads. But anytime you put your car in the shop, it's usually at least a thousand dollars now. Everything is so expensive. All right, so we have made the longest stream ever. Yeah, you can't get ad blocker on the YouTube mobile app. Yeah, we're gonna be done soon, less than an hour. Yep, thankfully I have money set aside for these repairs. Let me press the button. The fuel range is 206 miles, which we only have less than seven. On the highway, this car is not bad. Like I said, I'm average almost 30 miles a gallon in a full-sized car. Now I have a new elevator part in here. It's from, a, it's a Soviet elevator call station. I bought it from Ukraine. YouTube Premium is expensive, but it's worth it. Oh, I love my hand warmer. I love my hand warmer. I absolutely love my hand warmer. I'm using it as I speak. Since I don't have a heated steering wheel,
Oh, I would love a Schindler 3300 panel. If you have one you're willing to send to the museum, go to my website, elevatorfan.com, and you can email me from there, and then I will respond. Yeah, but my requirements for a new car is it has to get over 40 miles a gallon combined. I think they make heated gloves. We're busy people. But I don't have to wear gloves every time I drive. When I, when I buy a new car, I'm going to keep it at least five or ten years. I've had the Hyundai five years. We have got... Oh, I was looking at the Corolla Hybrid. I don't think it has a heated steering wheel, though. The Prius does. I'm probably going to get a Prius. Either a Prius or a Hyundai Sonata Hybrid. I would buy the Accord Hybrid tomorrow if it came with a heated steering wheel. And that's awesome, Rafe. Because I absolutely love Zach's Accord. And I also like the interior of it, too. I want 40 combined. Um, uh, like I said, I want a hybrid. I want a hybrid. I think the Insight is coming back out next year. I don't really care for Nissans. I swear by Toyota and Honda. They are great cars. Yeah, Nissan has bad transmission problems with their CV. I've heard their CVTs are terrible. I I will get an all electric car once they can go a thousand miles on a charge, but that's still a long way off. I'm getting excited. I'm getting close. As soon as we see that arch and cross that river, we're going to be ending the stream. Being a full-size car, this Avalon gets really good fuel economy for what it is on the highway. Fire alarm company is cool. Oh, I hope I don't get a cracked windshield. 
I just heard a rock hit the car. Alright, we are less, we are about 45 miles out. Uh, I think the road is smooth enough to get over now. What are we doing here, people? Oh, we got a slow poke here. All right now that we're getting near St. Louis, there's probably gonna be a lot more traffic on the road. Why is someone trailering a newer Mustang? Unless it's, that is a sharp looking car. I'll tell you, since I've been behind this truck, my gas mileage has increased by over a mile. The truck's breaking all the wind. It is just so nice being, I'm almost there. About 40 miles, a little over 40 miles left. stay behind this truck since he's breaking my wind and I'm getting better gas miles because of him. Oh, my intro. Epilepsy is um, uh, a nerve, a nervous condition that causes seizures. Yep, almost there. We have driven uh, 409 plus 225, whatever that is. No, if I had epilepsy, I wouldn't be able to work on the railroad. Six hundred thirty four miles. I just put my heated seats on to make it comfortable. This has been a boring live stream. I'm sorry, guys. We're 660 minutes in. Are we 11 hours in yet? 
I'm not answering that question. Y'all already know the answer. But I appreciate y'all keeping me company all the way across this uh, interstate. This might be one of my longest live streams ever. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I probably did. Aww. Thank you, Rafe. Metro Elevators is on. I think I saw a picture of him on Instagram wearing one of the Elevate Tours t-shirts. I really appreciate the support and love. Averaging almost 29 miles a gallon. They canceled an order? Did Ken, uh, I hope they didn't cancel an order on him. I know he has one. I saw an Instagram post with him with it. I really appreciate you buying my shirt. We are almost there. I can tell you as soon as I see a mile post. We're about 35 miles south. Yeah, there's only a few people on now that I'm getting toward the end. A bunch of people come on. It's like people have radar. To know when I'm getting ready to end the stream. I'm not ending it yet. We are about 30, just a little over 30 miles out. I'm visiting Jason and Jacob. my favorite people in the whole wide world no I'm, he's not going to appear in this stream because pretty much as soon as I cross the river as soon as I cross the river I'm ending the stream because I got to make some calls and I don't want to dox anybody even though we've been many times I'm not going to show on a live stream where somebody lives Jacob was really irritated about that, so I am not going to dox him. I 
I would love to come to California again sometime. Well, thanks for coming by, Jim. Yeah, we are not going to dox how to get to Jacob's house. Oh boy, it's 666. I don't like that. Yeah, I definitely want to see you sometime, Josh. Ten more seconds and six. I don't like that number. 666 is a bad number. All right, we're off six, it's six, six, seven minutes now. Well, thank you for loving my channel. I appreciate you. Lights of St. Louis up ahead on the horizon. That is not rain hitting the window, guys. That is bugs hitting the window. I mean, you can't see the buildings or anything, but you can see the horizons lit up by the city lights. No, I need to get my own building. I hope someday. I don't know why 13 is considered unlucky in this country. I have a couple elevator panels for the 13th floor. I have a Westinghouse and an Otis, and they both have 13. Metro, that makes me feel special knowing you've been following me for so long. Uh, uh, uh. Less than 30 miles. Oh, I'm pumped. We're almost there. Twenty-eight miles a gallon, almost eighty miles an hour. Rest area. Should I pee one last time? I think I might. 
I'm gonna go and pee one last time. Because who knows what it's gonna be like once I get in St. Louis. I kind of gotta go. Nope, no McDonald's. I don't think I've stopped to eat at all. I stopped at Chick-fil-A in Princeton. Princeton, West Virginia is the last place we stopped for food. All right, my Apple Watch is fully charged. I can put it on my wrist now. Yep, I'll be ending once we cross the river. Now this is confusing. Which way do cars go? Passenger vehicle straight. Hmm. Oh, here's the parking lot. feels weird having no clutch. All right, guys, I'll be back in just a minute. I'm going to miss Zach. We will be back.
All right, guys, I'm back and we're gonna hit the road. No more stops. Here we go. Watch this. There we go. Yep, I'm back. And buckled up and ready to go. Here we go. Let me put my Google Maps back on. Got my timeline edited. I do the Google timeline. Head northwest toward I-64 West. In 1,000 feet on I-64 West. Okay, air conditioner needs to go off. This will be almost a 700 mile or 700 minute live stream. Okay. Here we are, 25 miles left. Yeah, I'm glad I stopped. There, we should have the music back on now. I need my hand sanitizer. There we go. I've gotten several compliments on my clothes today. air show it looks like surfing USA is awesome I think I already said that you guys I only got a few miles left but I just need to take this time since I got 54 people on here to tell you guys how much I appreciate you guys how much I love you guys how much I cherish you guys there's a lot better things you could be doing with your time. There's a lot better things you can be doing with your time besides watching an old man drive down a boring highway. But you chose to spend it with me. And for that, I am forever grateful. I am forever grateful for each and every one of you that subscribes to this channel or even watches a video. Since we're getting near the end, I just have to express my gratitude and how grateful I am for you guys. Just the fact that you take, I mean, members, subscribers, even if you're not subscribed, just the fact that you're spending time with me makes me feel valued and I'm grateful for that. I mean, it doesn't matter if you watch my elevator videos or not. What matters is you're spending time with me right now. And that means a whole lot to me, really a lot to me. And I just have to let you know how much I appreciate you guys. I guess I'll play the YouTube video, the audio of my news story that just aired just in case y'all didn't get to see it or hear it, it's in my community tab and you can watch it, but this is the audio. Elevating autism one lift at a time. That's the mission of one Roanoke man who has found a way to connect with thousands of people through his passion 
for elevators. Yeah, he too has autism, and he was told that he'd never be a functioning adult. Well, today that couldn't be farther from the truth. And that man proves it to 10 News anchor Jaffney Gray that if he can make it in life with autism, others can do the same too in the Deep Blue Ridge. I'm an adult with autism, and I love elevators. This is Andrew Reeves, and he's not kidding about his love for elevators. We only get to live life one time. And why would I want to waste any of my time being miserable? Which is why he's always on cloud nine when he steps into his storage unit on 4th Street in Roanoke. From the old to the new, one floor to the next, he's been collecting elevator parts since the 90s. I'm like, wow, and then sometimes I'm like, I got too much stuff. He calls it his elevator museum. These are how the older elevators were control. And he shares it with both the community and over 100,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel called Elevate Tours. Usually I get a wow, and then they go crazy pushing all the buttons. They light up like in a real elevator. And get this, most of his audience are also people, especially children, with autism. My mission statement of my YouTube channel is elevating autism one lift at a time. A lot of people with autism, it's sensory based, like an elevator stimulates multi senses touch sight sound motion most people love the experience see ring is a real alarm he's in heaven right now but occasionally they're like that was boring <laughs> there's a reason andrew is so passionate about elevating the autistic community growing up with autism in the 80s was a challenge in some ways it was a living hell and in some ways it was cool. Not a lot was known about stuff like this. And I was diagnosed with ADHD, OCD, depression, anxiety, and they didn't know what was wrong with me. And I was what I would like to consider one of the Ritalin guinea pigs. I couldn't behave appropriately when I was younger. They just kept prescribing different medicines, and I feel in some ways that made the situation worse. He says when he was 13, he couldn't function. I got thrown out of multiple schools in St. Louis for behavior disorders, and by the time I was 14 years old, I ended up in a um, psychiatric ward for children. Andrew says he was very closeted about his passion for elevators during that time of his life. I was told it was stupid and weird. I was always bullied for being different. Fortunately, in the 90s, Andrew says he was finally correctly diagnosed with autism, which took him off those several medications. It was a move that lifted his spirit and that opened the door for a very productive life. To someone whose parents were told that their kid would never be able to be independent, I think I'm doing pretty darn good. Similar to his love for elevators, Andrew is also fixated on trains, like Diesel Ducey here. Obviously my screen name everywhere, and it's named after a little toy train I've had since I was a kid. He's been working as a locomotive engineer for Norfolk Southern for over a decade. Andrew is not only a major advocate for people with autism, but a major fighter against bullying. The reason you're being bullied is because these people are insecure with themselves. So they have to, when they feel as weak, to make themselves feel big. In reality, you're a bigger man. Through his channel and his museum, he also educates parents on how to embrace their child's interests. A true inspiration that puts Andrew on a whole other level in life. I like to use the word unique instead of disability. Embrace who you are. Love yourself. Don't ever put yourself down. Don't let anyone put you down because you are beautiful just the way you are. For the Deep Blue Ridge, I'm Jaffe Gray, 10 News, working for you. Do me a favor, guys. Go to that video. Please like it. Please give it a comment. It's in my community tab. I really want to help that video in YouTube's algorithm. So if all you guys can just please go to my YouTube community tab, scroll down to the YouTube video. The news story is first, then scroll down to the YouTube video. And thank you for my, okay, my super chat just came through. That's weird. That's from earlier, but thank you for the super chat. Please scroll down. Give the video a like, give it a comment, please. It's almost a thousand views. It's their most viewed video that's been posted recently. And I'm really proud of that. And because we only got about 
little over 10 minutes, a little over 10 minutes and this live stream will be coming to a close. This has been a fun drive, a fun time. I think we're over 11 hours long. You guys have kept me company the whole way. And if anyone has been here since the beginning, wow. I've been in several news stories. But I'm trying to get in the news because I want to grow my mission. I hope to get on something national sometime because I really want to get my mission out there. you do what's best for you you don't have to explain to anybody you do what's best for you if someone has a problem with it that's too bad you have to take care of yourself way we have like we we just now get a lot of people on here just as we're getting ready to close but I guess 70 people will see the grand entrance in the St. Louis well I love having you on here Jim but you're always welcome here but you got to take you got to do what's important to you first Your life comes first, then the internet. We'll always be here. Now I think I have a blurry stream there and cleared up because there's bugs on the window. All right, we're about just over 12 miles out. I better pull up Google Maps. There, yeah, there were some bugs on the window that was focusing on. I get emotional every time I see this town. This is home. But don't get me wrong, I do miss Zach. only 65 through here don't want to get a speeding ticket when I'm less than like I'm just a few miles out Ah, there's the bridge, the Gateway Arch. So there's downtown St. Louis. We're almost there. Oh, someone's over there in my blind spot. I'll just pick up my speed a little bit. Well, we're all, all these lanes go to St. Louis. So, <clears throat> I hope 
the arch is still. I see the arch, yay! Across this bridge, I'm going to be saying my goodbyes. I tried to say them earlier, but I just want you guys to know how much I love you guys and appreciate you guys. And we're going down to 55 miles an hour now. We're coming into town, so we're not going to go fast. Set the cruise at 60. Yeah, and the interstate is closed. So I have no idea how I'm getting in, but once I cross the river, I gotta make a phone call. But I love you guys. I can't thank y'all enough. Cross into Missouri. I am so excited. We're almost there. It's the first time this Toyota's been back across this state line in a long time. I really appreciate you guys tuning in, and I can't thank y'all enough. I can't tell y'all how much I love y'all. All right, here it comes. We are about three miles out, guys. And again, I can't thank y'all for tuning in. So we'll be hopping off here in just a couple minutes because we're pretty much there. So I just want to get crossing over the bridge, showing you downtown, and then that'll be it. And this is confusing. Post my last B reel if I can crossing this bridge. These cones, okay. This is one lane going into downtown. That's crazy. All right, we're getting on the bridge now. So this is pretty much our goodbye. I have to get over. So this is going to be, it's turning into a dysfunction junction. Yeah.
I just want to show coming into downtown. I'm gonna go slow so I can take my picture. It's 50 miles an hour anyway. I guess my Toyota feels like it's back at home. Uh, no, I want to be one way. I think I'm okay here. I don't know. I'm gonna do one last be real. Staying on 64 West, and I don't know where we're going once we cross the river. Oof, this car has no headlights. That's a St. Louis thing. It says St. Louis all lanes, so I'll just stay in one of these lanes. It says all lanes to St. Louis. There it is. Over to our right, I see the beautiful arch. Feels so good to be on the home stretch. I think this Be Real was a one shot thing. Right, guys this is pretty much our goodbye you'll see the city in the right and i will be ending within a minute or two of crossing this bridge i love you guys i can't thank you enough there is my town and i gotta do my be real my last chance There, got it. Now I need to figure out where I'm going and we're gonna cut this stream. All right, there's downtown. Let's see here. Oh, it says, well, I gotta get over two lanes. Uh-oh, I'm in the wrong lane. Don't wanna cause an accident here, but that was a bad move on my part. It said stay on this, okay. All right, guys, let me show you downtown real quick, then we're going to cut it. There is downtown St. Louis. We're going by Bush Stadium. So let me just do something real quick. Save my be real. And let me turn the camera. I'm going to say bye to y'all once we pass Bush Stadium. All right, guys. Just want to let you all know how much I love you. I'm very grateful for all the time you spent with me. And we've been on here for 700 minutes. And I can't thank you all enough for keeping me company. But I guess the time has come for me to... Until next time. Bye, y'all. And I love you all so much. And you all have a good night. And thanks again so much for keeping me company. Bye, y'all.